right where we left off. I'm scared. I'm so Astropio. scared. Dad. <laughs> With Mr. Astropio. And uh, he, as, as from continuing from last session, uh, he is just taken aback and has just informed you, Fritz, that he is your biological father and is waiting for a response. <laughs> Put him on the spot, why don't you? Mm. Shoot him. All right. <clears throat> Got to get in character. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shake it out. Get the adrenaline Get going. <laughs> vocal warm-ups. Vocal warm-ups. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Into a bar. You find your dad. Uh, <laughs> um, go north. I guess Fritz kind of looks at them for a second and turns their head to the side and goes, you don't look like dozing. Uh, uh, no, uh, of, of course not. Uh, he kind of scratches the back of his head. Uh, no, uh, D Dozen is a, a good friend of mine, and um, he was... My dad? Uh, yes, I guess he would be considered more your father now, considering that he uh, raised you. No, uh, he is my dad. You will refer to him as such, thank you. I, I see, um... Well, he's just, he's kind of scratching his <laughs> arms. I uh, did not anticipate this to happen today. Uh, uh, well. What do you mean? We're just strangers. Respectfully, sir, what business do you have here? I am the officiate here to bring a suspect in for questioning at uh, Pelutrios. Oh, fantastic. We can take yeah. you to where she is. Uh, that would be preferable. Thank you. So this guy's from Politrios. Me? Who, who, who are you yeah. asking? Uh, I yes, just like. I, I, oh, oh, you're, <laughs> you're questioning. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of am gesturing to the party, like pointing at him, probably making eye contact while asking that. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. To, did Fritz? Have you ever met this guy before? This is your biological. Absolutely father. not. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, she she wouldn't remember me. Uh, we gave her away when she was very very young. That's always a good move. Okay, Play. let's go upstairs. Wait a minute. I kind of want to address this. You've never met this person before. You don't want to talk to him? I mean, what's, I don't understand what's happening here. Why would I talk me to either. someone who abandoned me? I, he actually, like, straightens up a little bit at that. Listen, we did not abandon you. That's not what happened. I don't know what Dozen has told you, but... Perhaps we can discuss this more strongly. When we have and less pressing matters currently it, yes. that we need to attend to. I think that is preferable. I am sorry, whatever it is that I may have done or the lack thereof that made you feel this way, Phelan, but I have okay. business. Okay, upstairs. It's <laughs> and he just kind of walks on upstairs. You hear the thumping, thumping, thumping of his boots. And you see the mayor... Uh, Isaac <gasps> is there as oh, well. right. He was here. And he's just like... <laughs> Whew, should I leave you all to it, or is there anything authority? Uh, 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 words are not working for me today. Uh, do you need to do anything because you're the mayor? Do you need to do anything about this situation, or are we all good? Um, he will give me some paperwork to deal with. Uh, you are free to go. I'm just concerned about this whole deal, and yeah. I wouldn't want yeah. to butt in where it's not my business. Mm. Sounds great. <laughs> I'll yeah, right wait outside. Uh, uh, Mr. Estrapio will speak with me when he's ready. Uh, you feel free Maya, to have I've anything got off the one question. Oh. Maya? Uh, yes? Would me causing a scene in any way affect you? Perhaps not, <laughs> but I would hope that you wouldn't cause a scene with an officiate of Politrios. Uh, he does have friends in high places. What's an officiate? Well, he works closely with the Lord, uh, Lord Euphrasia of Politrios, as well as the dragon, Sergi. He is oh, one of good. their underlings. He does a lot of their busy work while they are, well, doing other more important matters. Mm. Is he That's upstairs? Is Estrapio upstairs while we're having this conversation? Yeah, like, he's, he's not in the room. Getting, okay. okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. If you need He's the tavern here. to yourself, if that's what you mean, I can uh, leave you to it. Uh, yeah, can we can we maybe just like just step outside, have a quick break, so we can yes. have a kind of a group huddle here. 
Yes, we wouldn't dream of evicting you from your own town. Uh, We'll be right back. There was a really nice rock on the road we can sit on and talk at. (laughs) Thank you. So, yeah, you guys are going to have a chat. (laughs) I guess. (laughs) Group huddle. (laughs) Guys, come over here to this rock. Oh, it's a solitary place. Rock. There's not enough room for. A, I'll sit. I'll stand over here, so there's room on the rock for another person. That's fair. Oh, I'm that's gonna sunbathe a little bit while we do this. <laughs> okay, keep. Please keep your shirt on for when we do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? If, okay. A lot I don't of know things ex- just happened. Yeah, a lot, right. I, I agree. <laughs> are you Fritz? Are you okay with? Are you okay? Yeah. That's just a stranger. It didn't sound entirely like that was the whole story. You know as much as I do. He says he's my father. I've never met him. All I know is Dozen picked me up as a kid. Can I make an insight? (laughs) I don't know if that's intrusive. Uh, I just want to know if like... Up to you. Yeah, up to Poi. Okay. Because I, I want to see if that's genuinely what Poi knows, or if that's like how Poi feels. You mean Fritz? How, who's Poi? Hey. Poy? hey. Yeah. Okay, Fritz. Do you feel as though that is enough for word to learn anything from Fritz's? Uh, yeah, Fritz. Sorry. Mannerisms. I guess the only thing you would learn, because uh, that is quite high, is <laughs> Fritz's. Being honest with this is a stranger. They've never met them. Uh, okay. They're lying a bit about not being pissed that they're here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. But they're trying to hold themselves composed. All right. Yeah. yeah. There's no way or reason that word would press that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fritz, if he works under one of the dragons, the odds are good we're going to need to deal with him again in the future. Mm. Is there anything... Any way you'd like us to play that. You don't have to deal with him face-to-face if you don't want to. All I ask is you don't call me Phelan. Oh, well, yeah, no Fritz. fear of that. <laughs> <laughs> I I like Fritz. It fits me more. It's what Dozen calls me. And Yes. This is certainly strange. Um, I won't lie, I'm curious. But this is a stranger, and this this means more to me than whatever he provides. Yes, we haven't really discussed this in the past, but have you ever been curious about your birth parents, where you came from? Mm, when I was younger, yes, but I didn't want to. I don't want to make Dozen feel like he wasn't doing enough by questioning. God, am I glad I don't look like him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't mean to... I, I, kiddo, I, I hope you're not um, trying to be too strong or, you know, act like you don't care too much about it. I, I, I guess it's a complicated subject, but to what Leia was saying, I, I could understand it if you're curious and had questions. I mean, this might be a chance to find some things out about yourself that you never knew. I just, you don't have to hide anything, you know, the way that you feel about this from us. I mean. Or you I, can be strong and blind yourself from the situation <laughs> until it goes away. Word. Nope. <laughs> Slap it. I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that um, we, we got your back. If you, if you know, on how to handle this, if they're, if you need it, that is. Yes. However you choose to play this, we'll support you. I won't lie. I am being strong. But if I let... Ah, this is so not me. <laughs> ah, If I let the bitterness of what someone I don't know done to me affect all the kindness that people put into me, am I really Fritz? Of course you are. You can't blame yourself for how you're treated or what has been done to you. The man in there, I think, has a lot to answer for. But it's up to you if you want to give him the chance to answer whatever questions you might have. There might even be good reasoning behind it. You might be surprised. 
I don't think he was looking for me. <laughs> uh, that I agree with. I guess I'd like to know what happened to my mum. I've never had a mum figure. Hmm. Yes. I don't make a good mother figure, so I can't help you there. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Well, we appreciate that you tried. <laughs> so, I, I mean, and you can shoot this down if you think it's a bad idea, but we're heading to Trevisetta, or, uh, sorry, Politrios. That's the one that we're going to, right? Mm -hmm. Next is Politrios. I think so. Uh, yeah. World we're, map is in we're the heading to, the Warforged. We're heading to Politrios anyway, so this might be a good time to get there a little bit quicker if we have somebody who clearly is woven into that inner circle, I'm not saying we have to go with him, but maybe we can get some information about meeting up with the dragon, that sort of thing. I mean, he is definitely headed back there once he's done here, so. We don't have to travel with him, but we can if we have two questions. Steps ahead, we can be two <laughs> steps behind and then ambush him for his stuff. We could leave a day before or after. It won't impede our progress either way. We don't need to be... We don't need to deal with him any more than you want to. We don't know how people are in Trevisetta. I... I am curious. <laughs> I am curious. Uh, I'll, I'll meet him in the middle. Not as a daughter and f father. But as two strangers in a predicament. Very well. That is certainly what we are in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to have right. Lucy Fritz Break. just push down the feathers on their neck that were a bit pinched up. <laughs> I, I slink off the road rock. <laughs> it's a nice rock. It was really nice. It's actually quite warm today. Ooh. Oh, you were sunbathing. Yeah. Cold-blooded. <laughs> so you guys uh, finish up your conversation, and I assume you're going to wait for uh, Astrafio then? Yeah. Seems yeah. like he's coming out. Sure. Yeah. 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 He, yeah, he does come out, and uh, you can see that he's kind of fixing his gloves. And it seems as though he just finished word, just like zoomed <laughs> yeah, rush at him. <laughs> so what? What's I'll the hide. situation with the snake lady? Where's she at? Uh, you can see he's he's actually looking around for you guys, and he sees you uh, kind of oh, to the side, no. and he walks up to you. All right, that's all taken care of. Uh, she will be teleported to Politrios for questioning, and uh, I got an huh. eyewitness report and. The mayor here, Isaac, he will be signing a few papers and sending them back to us. And I will be on my way back with my own teleportation circle very shortly. But um, while I do have a bit of time, I did want to formally introduce myself to you all. I, I presume you are, I hear that you are the pilgrims of, from Satya. Mm, that is us. correct. Well, Raid and the rest. <laughs> It is very nice to meet you all, and uh, I do hope that uh, I can do whatever it is in my power to make your journey a smooth one once you make it to Palutrios. I unfortunately don't have much time to wait here, uh, as I have my own business to take care of once I get back there, but it was nice to meet you all. And then well, well, uh, he looks over so at Fritz for the first time. Mm. Mm. I, uh, I, I I'm, hmm. I'm, I'm glad we could get the situation sorted with the the lady in there. Yes, me as well. Uh, Fate <sighs> is a cruel lady. Well, oh yeah, she's she's nasty. Radioactive levels of awkwardness coming off of this. <laughs> is there anything else that I could perhaps provide in the next few minutes before I need to go? Actually, yeah, yeah, I have a question to uh, open to the floor. Is it against the rules for us to just teleport with him? Like, do we have to walk there? <laughs> hmm. uh, I would love to assist you in that, but unfortunately, the circle is only enough for one person. Nah, you got weak circles. All right. <laughs> There will be many opportunities for exploration between here and our next destination. So. That's true. Yes, of course. In fact, uh, he reaches into his jacket and pulls out Aww. a little card that seems to be signed with a Lord Euphrasia's name uh, herself and a, the Olynthian uh, sigil, the life tree on it, stamped on it, and he hands it over to whoever will take it. I'll take it. Uh, bu 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 uh, stop um, me. Yes. Uh, I... If, if you hand that to the uh, Lord's offices, uh, they can get you in contact with me uh, immediately. I will drop whatever I'm doing at the moment and 
give you my undivided attention if you need anything at all. Oh. Mm, How responsible. Is that a promise? I'll just tuck that away. He, is that a promise? He looks <laughs> to you and he just kind of gulps. Uh, I presume so. I... Can I inside check this man? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you certainly might. You certainly Thank may, you. yes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You can tell that he is definitely awkward. He is unprepared <laughs> for whatever this is. But, you know, that's mm. easy to tell that vibe. Yeah. Mm. Well, I suppose we'll be seeing a lot more of you when we reach our next destination. Um, Stopio, I... before you go. Yes. Oh. You don't have to talk to me again. But. I'll meet you in the middle when you're ready. Uh, very well. Um, I do want to ask you one thing. Hmm. How was he, Dozen? Your childhood. How was it? Um, I was very lucky to have very friendly sailors around, and Dozen has a really good moral compass. Would He's a really good dad. Would you say that you were happy? Uh, as happy as a dolphin can be. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> then that's good. That's good. And he kind of like has very slight nods. I will see you in Politrios. Okay. We'll hold you to that. And he steps back into the tavern. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm that just uh went. Yeah. Mm. That I think that went pretty good. I mean, all things considered, I mean, no one. Uh, I think word introduced us as the rest. No one got hurt. I mean, <laughs> all things that I think it could have gone worse. Thank God I, I don't look like a poncy fuck like him. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you have so much more fashion sense than him. Oh, like, yes. By, by actual nautical miles. Green serves you better as clothing than feathers, I think. Mm. I think you'd do good with one of those little ascots that he's got on. I think that would look good on you. Just have Ooh. like a little necktie Excuse or something me, like that. No, just, I'm just... <laughs> just, just we get you like a nice neck piece. I think that'd be fun. I don't know, I'm trying to make conversation. That was one of the most awkward <laughs> conversations I've ever had. Word, have you been graffitiing the rocks? What are you doing? <laughs> I, uh, yes. <laughs> oh I, I felt the well, need to briefly exit the premises. and uh, <laughs> I distracted myself. Well, it's very uh, stylish. Thank you. So, uh... I, well, I guess we better be getting efficiency and butterscotch ready for the mm. um, traveling. So, um, yes. I don't know I if there's anything else you all uh, need to do here, but I'd like to get on the road. I think as long as we've said our goodbyes to the various people we helped out, we can oh. probably leave whenever. Um, I still have six days of butterscotch leg ointment. Uh, have we traveled the full day? Should I apply that uh, again? It, so from New Sky to here was one day, and then you guys stayed one night here as well. Okay. So you've... Uh, I would have presumed that you put on two of them. Yeah, like, like I'll push once that down to night. four. Red. Uh, that, that includes this morning, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. And uh, you can see that Butterscotch's leg does look a little bit better. Uh, nice. She's not limping as much. Good. That's what she deserves. And she's actually been spending her. the morning kind of trotting around the field uh, somewhat close to the cart, of yes. course. We frolic together. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Claw and hoof together. <laughs> as, as as Word is applying the leg ointment, I'll go to Word and I'll say, oh you know, Word, I actually think you would be make a pretty good maternal figure. <laughs> well, thank you. That that does mean a lot. I've just I've never really had to. You know, we've always had a, kind of a small population, so you need you know an even mix. The thicker muscles kind of help me as a leader. It helps me run away from things, honestly. Uh, look, I get it. I, I could. Mean, I could. I don't. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Um, I just, you know, you got that quality. He's You're not the stepmom. He's the mom that stepped up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So We're you just... guys uh, get ready to go then. Say your goodbyes to the people <laughs> yeah. of Viserly. 
Mm-hmm. Which is like yeah. like two people. I think we only like the mayor a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Mayor's all right. Grumble's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, you say Grumble. your goodbyes to Grumble, who of course Grumble. grumbles. So did did Pyria? Is it Py- oh, I, maybe Pyria? Pyria, right? Yeah. Pyria. 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 Mm-hmm. Did Pyria give us the um, photo that she was going to send? Yes, or she, she gave you a, a small little portrait. Yeah, painting portrait of her mm-hmm. um, and the little like wooden carving which she fashioned into a small little automaton like toy, as well. Since cool. she is a tinkerer now. Aww, and she said cool. for for you once you reach the next mailing station, which will be in Politrios, to send it back to Koriak and uh, mm-hmm. Satya whenever you get the time. Nice. And she's given you the money to pay for the uh, the stamps and stampage or whatever shipping. Stamp. Postage. Stampage. The postage. postage. <laughs> that's the word. Yeah. The stampage. Postage the bird. tiny teleportation circle they use to manifest mail directly to people's houses. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely a thing that exists in D&D. And did she install the true sight lantern that she, she said did. she was She was just finished fixing it up and hooking it up and kind of making sure that it's working after your little bout uh, at night with the lizard folk lady. And she kind of gives it a little knock and it rings a little bit and gives a very dim green glow before fading mm. back to its kind of normal lantern yellow. And she gives you a thumbs up, ready to go. Thank you. And thank you. I think this place is a lot safer now. Wait, who are we talking to now? Uh, Pyria. Pyria, the dragonborn sister oh, okay. of Koriak. Yes, yeah. that one there. Gotcha. Oh, boy. <laughs> we ready to get out of here, gang? <laughs> yeah, I, I, give, I give a quick handshake to the old man Grumble. Mm. He just mm. takes your hand. Mm. Yeah, I give Grumble a firm nod. <laughs> give Grumble a firm. Mm. Grumble and I are going to have an emojis and gifts only chat going for the entire rest of this stream. Yeah. Just send each other memes. At any time I... when you don't know what they were doing, she's texting gifts to Grumble. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so yes, you hop onto your cart with your brand new uh, lantern of true sight and you return to the wilds yes. of the verdant hills. Let me move the map. Yeehaw! To the verdant hills to make your way back to the road to Politrios. It's a fairly uneventful journey with a decent amount of downtime if any of you so wish to do anything to pass it. Hmm. Who's driving? Who's operating this? Who is driving? Oh no. Um, who, who has experience driving? I mean, Word has the most horse I'm experience. I'm assuming it's Word. Yeah. What would I just be purchased the, best the horses driver? and love them. I'm not a good. Um, <laughs> Would it's it be animal, animal handling for driving <laughs> experience? I, In that case, it might three. be me. I have, it, oh, it would be intelligence with uh, land vehicles, mm. but... But uh, you are not uh, proficient in those. I don't I think any of us are. No. That's okay. If it is animal handling, I am also not proficient in that. <laughs> really? What's no. your bonus? Uh, it's, a, it's plus three because it's wisdom. Um, okay. If it was both. nature, <laughs> it would be plus four. <laughs> we are equally wise. Yes. Or on a I'll ride. give it a yeah. shot. I'll, I'll, I'll drive. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You know what? <laughs> Anyone can try <laughs> yeah, whatever driving. role they think is I'm relevant drive. <laughs> to driving the cart. Uh, I, I will help you by doing a soothing animal handling. Okay. I don't know if I need to roll for that or if they just. Uh, what get it What done. are we saying is for? Is it? It's not sleight of hand. Um. <laughs> I guess it is animal but, handling, wouldn't it be? I would Either animal handling or, or a straight intelligence. Yeah. Oh, boy. Or a straight int? Uh, mm-hmm. my yeah. Hint? Okay, um, we're going for animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You try to um. soothe the horses, uh, specifically Efficiency, who is a very tough breed, as, um, as Lord uh, Nicholas has, you know, come to claim that this is a very strong horse, good for pulling the cart. It's also a very stubborn horse, and you are not particularly trained in <laughs> cart-pulling horses, so kind of mm. wibbles around and just kind of huffs at you every now and then as you pull its reins, trying to direct it. Fritz, you're holding the reins way too loose. Uh, <laughs> l- l- let me try. Oh, okay. Please do. <laughs> There we yeah. go. Oh, Very okay. nice. You know what and you're doing. Word, you're able to pull it back in, and uh, efficiency <laughs> is more receptive to your rain pulling 
as you direct right. the car just fine, no longer on the bumpy roads or anything like that. <laughs> cool. Um, cool. In the meantime, can I... Uh, can uh, Buck uh, wants to try to teach Lyra to how to uh, play like a card game like while we're just like waiting? Ooh. Yeah, you can. Like, or... Yes, yeah, I will... Just... Uh... I'll, I'll just like I'll pull I'll pull out my card that, and like I'll just be like so, you know here this is you, you this is the trump card and you you use that to uh you, it matters which suit you pick so you gotta you, you draw these four cards and then we will go back and forth and play these and I'll and I'll uh, uh like kind of just show I her see. how to uh how to play um but while while we're while we're playing I want to I want to uh say um. So we're just like playing in the back of the cart while you guys are yep. uh, in the front uh, while mm -hmm. Fritz and uh, Word are, are, are driving. Perfect. You know, I, I, I was just thinking about Fritz and her dad and that whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. You think she's going to be okay with, you know, learning her biological dad? I just, I really feel like that's something that we should probably address, right? <sighs> Fritz can be difficult to read at times. They are very cheerful by nature. And I think the feelings that this encounter dredged up in them are unfamiliar to them. They might not entirely know how to process it. Yeah, I, I get that. And I'll put another card down. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I, to be frank, I just, I just kind of assumed that the Dozen for the time I knew him was like, uh, I didn't know if he was the biological dad or I, I really don't get how that whole thing works, but I just didn't ask any questions. I just don't, don't really, I guess you don't really know much about, I don't really know much about all of you guys, uh, mm. just from oh. being in passing from living in the same town. I've known Fritz for many years and we don't discuss this very much either. Neither of us were raised by our biological parents, wherever they may be. And I always felt that it was mutually understood that some things just weren't worth thinking about. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, put another card down. Yeah. So that Ch Chimaya uh, person, that's Shemaya. not your... Chimaya, sorry. That person <laughs> isn't your... Uh, that's not your parent? No, she's my mentor. I don't entirely know the story of how I came to where I was found, but I assume tragedy must have been involved at some point for somebody, and since I'm unlikely to ever receive more answers than that, I find it an unhelpful avenue of thought. Shmaya is the only mentor that I've ever had that has mattered. She's the only person I've been striving to make proud. Well, I I'm guess unaccustomed I think... to seeing a situation where the parent has disappointed the child. So. Right. Well, I'm sure Fritz felt kind of the same way, and all of a sudden, we run into her biological dad. I mean, I don't. I don't know if you're looking to find out any sort of information on this whole, you know, trip we're going on or anything like that. About my parentage? <laughs> I consider it broadly irrelevant, but... Well, I mean, I suppose, you know. just, a, just about yourself. Uh, <sighs> Who I'm growing into seems rather more interesting than where I came from, but I'd be lying if I said I'd never wondered. And I suspect Fritz is the same way, but I doubt this is the answer that they particularly wanted to see. Uh, yeah, I... I guess you're right. Um, like, pick the cards up and just kind of... How like many a, aces a are supposed shuffle. to be in this deck, by the way? Well, there's four. There's, uh, there's just four. Um, I see. Has Word one, gotten his hands on this one? <laughs> yeah, I just... Let me count these here. Four. All right. Okay, five, six. I did lend this deck to, to Word at some point. That Hold on, let me would look make through. sense. There's six suits in here. I've never even seen these ones before. <laughs> Ooh, I know is, some divination is, spells we could use this for. This is like a clam symbol. <laughs> this one is a rose. I've never seen this. This, <laughs> this one was hand drawn. <laughs> uh, well, uh, oh, I'll, I'll talk to Word. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go read my book now. So thanks for the game. And I, I should just say, I mean, I'm sure you're going to make Shemaya 
proud through all this. I mean, we're doing pretty good so far. Yes, things have gone remarkably smoothly, for the most part. And, and also, my dad is dead, so we don't have to worry about running into him. Oh, uh, my condolences? Uh, yeah, he just, it was just like old age thing. It wasn't anything like, uh, like, it wasn't a big deal or anything like that, so I wouldn't worry about it. All right. If we do run into him, <laughs> that means we're some sort of zombie creatures involved, and that we'll have more to worry about at that point than the way that I feel about it emotionally. Yes, although I suspect the emotional side would have some impact on that hypothetical and hopefully never real situation. <laughs> We've been fighting giant goo monsters on this trip, and we ran into Fritz's biological dad, and, we fi and we've also had multiple run-ins with people that turned into dragons. So I'll be clear when I say I'm not, I'm not putting it past the realm of possibility for the things <laughs> we've been doing. I suppose um, that's wise. But we, but realistically, I'm just trying to roll with the punches as they've gone. Yes. I suspect that's the only way that'll really see us through. Uh, well, uh, yeah, just want to get back into this book here, so... <laughs> Actually, uh, look, I'll, when I'll, you go and look for your book, it's missing. As well as <gasps> when you were counting what? your cards, several of the regular four suits are missing. Oh? It was harder to notice because of the other two suits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the clan um, suit and the some kind of three-legged horse yeah, suit. Interesting. When I, the, I don't have my book on me? You search I, and actually you can give me a uh, an investigation if you'd like to try and search for it. Hmm, can I, I also like do an investigation, Jack? Yeah, you may. You, yeah. It's called With my raw we, plus one. Lost right, in a drift. I, I, lost in a drift. I, 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 I know I left it around here somewhere. I mean... Layer and Buck, you search every spot that it would have been. You search your pack, you search the shelves where you would have stored it. You look around, and it's nowhere in its usual spot. My natural 20 didn't turn anything else your up? Your natural 20 makes you search in places that it probably, uh, in places that are not its usual spot, including outside the cart, and you see a sleep on the side of the cart, kind of on the railing. Looks to mm -hmm. be a fey folk of some kind, a young boy mm -hmm. who's just laying there sleeping, just in just a passenger on your cart. I have on the top of it, like he's sitting questions. on the top. Like uh, so, you know, you see the cart. Let me show you the. Art I see the cart. I see. Um, oh, I see the cart. So <laughs> the card. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know how there's like a ledge kind of on the side, kind of where people can maybe yeah. walk. Yeah, I do Sleeping see that. there, kind of in the back. I see. Oh, there was a curtain in front of that. Okay. Yeah, there is a curtain because that's. I thought we were like fully separated from the conversation. No, no, no. <laughs> well, just I mean, you could quiet. hushed whispers, I would presume. Like. <laughs> I just kind of make eye contact with Lyra. Uh, um, do you know that person? I don't think so. It doesn't look like anybody you recognize. A fae, uh, a fey folk, a uh, young boy with blue hair. Huh. Are we um, all aware that they're there, or the two have not only, told us? Only really Leira and Buck have noticed him with, as Word, they are looking Word, please stop the cart. Their book. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stop it. Uh, by the way, Fritz, have you seen my deck of aces anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, I don't aces. play cards. I've been missing them for like two days. All right, I'll find them later. What's the holdup? Why are we stopping? You we have a stowaway? <laughs> yeah, have you guys noticed anything strange in the time that you've been out here? And I'll after get the being pointed, pointed out, you guys also see the elven boy, uh, not elven, the uh, fey, fey boy sitting, uh, kind of laying, arms crossed behind his head, <sighs> snoring away. Did anybody give birth while I wasn't paying attention? Can I cool out? Not that I checked. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, dimwit! <laughs> Me? Not you. The other uh, one. <laughs> you can see he yawns awake and he looks and he looks directly at you, uh, but remains silent and perfectly still. And he looks in the direction that you're speaking, kind of past him, kind of behind him, and then back to you. Yeah, you. He looks at his arms, inspecting himself. Then he jumps. Ah, my invis. Oh. What? How did? Oh. Oh. Didn't we have something on the... We do it. The true sight uh, lantern has taken away this young man's invisibility. I go to grab him. Yep. <laughs> well, you pull him up and you see the stowaway. Here he is. He's an elven boy. Aww. Oh, no. 
It's a cheeky little boy. He's just a little guy. Cheeky, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hey, come on. Uh, there's no, come on. Uh, there's no need for violence, right? You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. You can't hurt the birthday boy. Who sassy lost <laughs> child is this? <laughs> um, uh, can, can I, like, give him a little shake? A little sh I'm a big guy. I'll give him a little shake, see if anything <laughs> drops out in, in like, oh, his left Yeah, you shake see him a out. few cards fall out of his kind of pockets and shirt, and you can see your book, Lost in a Drift, foop, falls onto the, the grass, as well as a potion of hill giant strength, which is Fritz's. Um, oh. And a scroll of jump, which is words. Excuse you? Can I roll <laughs> to grab him? You don't need wait, to roll wait. to grab him. Buck already has I, him. Wait. Buck oh, has him by the ankles. I, I, I hold him up. As soon as I see words thing hit the ground, I hold him up high so that word cannot <laughs> cannot hurt him. <laughs> oh, oh, trust me. You're, you're... Uh, hey, no hard feelings, right? I mean, I, I stowed away. You caught me. Might as well let bygones be bygones, huh? Hey, good job. You got your stuff back. I've gone from being frustrated to being rather impressed. How Look, did you get I'm away just... with all this? Uh, well, he took my lucky 50-second ace. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do you think I took it? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Listen, you know, uh, you know, fame magic. You know, I'm from the Circa Forest. The witch the, forest? The what? Oh, oh, wait. Uh, so, Joe, how much would I know about whatever this guy is and what he's talking about? So, the Circa Forest does have a incredibly dense fey uh, population. Oh, uh, oh a right lot right. of them work with the lords of Elinthi to upkeep Quarencia. A lot of them guard Quarencia. He does not seem as though he is wearing official garments, so he is probably just a civilian. Because mm. there are plenty of fey and non-fey that live in the forest as well, as they have opened it up. Um, what is your history score? Uh, mm. <laughs> Tasty mm. plus one from plus my one. raw okay. end. That, that's about how much you would know. Okay, mm. so this isn't like a thing I'd specially know about because of my plus four to nature? Maybe Plus just four a little to nature. bit. Okay. Plus four to nature, you would know that. Um, it is kind of my one thing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hold you on. You would know, uh, uh, as mentioned before, that there's an incredibly uh, large fey population. Um, you know that the fey are not the fey they once were from a long time ago. Um, oh. That they are more a civilized people uh, compared to how they once were more mischievous and Celtic mythology insert here. Right. Uh, and they have kind of more gotten along with the various different peoples in order to keep Quarencia alive, since it benefits them as well. Hmm. Someone seems How to be... long ago did you get on? <laughs> uh, what was... Uh, he kind of counts on his fingers. Uh, when did you leave Nuba Sky? I uh, see. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, just well, a couple of days, right? Uh, yes. It's not much. Someone he burps. seems to be attempting to. How much of our food have you taken? Uh, enough to get by. Okay. Someone seems to be attempting to revive ancient <laughs> traditions. <sighs> well, what do you guys want to do with him? We could sell him. <laughs> I like that idea. I don't think we want to deal with anyone who'd be willing to buy him. <laughs> you know, that's actually very fair. All right, mischief maker. What exactly was your end goal with this? Situation. Uh, uh, listen, I, I was just trying to get by, you know. Like, I, I read some books about how the Fey folk were tricksters and misfits back when Old Diosia was most most of this place, and honestly, that sounded way cooler than whatever it is we do now. Guarding the forest, surveying the tree—it's so boring. I want to stir some shit, make some idiots lose their minds, maybe make a lord cry. That sounds way more fun. <sighs> well, you definitely picked the wrong people to mess with, but the right people to mess with other people. Oh, I think I picked the very right people. And he reaches into his shirt and he holds out. He has Elias's heart. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, this stopped being funny. Do you want to keep your wings? What spell am I going to cast on this guy? Da, da, da. Oh, my God. He holds, he holds it out and just be like, I know some mad fire spells. <laughs> I invite mm -hmm. you to try. I'd like to see you and try maybe, without maybe. your wings. Hand it over. <laughs> Give me an intimidation, <laughs> uh, whoever, with advantage. <laughs> Whoever I'm wishes to. It. Do I'm it. probably not very intimidating, but I do not like this fella. With advantage. 
with oh, advantage, how do I do you may roll advantage? again. Oh no, you have a you have a smaller bonus than I do. You can roll it again and we'll take the higher one. <laughs> ah! Okay. I just don't like Oh you. yeah, just like you officials. Play nice and then get aggressive when you don't get you what you want. Then let's continue playing nice. I'm gonna cast Entangle else. under oh, him. Um, okay. <laughs> Lyra, hold me back. Lyra, I am. I, I you know I, I don't like I'm these dropping. fucks. <laughs> oh, can I, while this is happening, do Mage Hand Ledgerman to grab the heart from him? Uh, oh, please do. You most certainly can. Give okay. me a. Oh. Actually, no roll needed because he failed the DC. He, okay. Buck, you drop him. <laughs> Vines mm -hmm. come up from the ground. He's like, that's more like, <laughs> and he immediately <laughs> drops the uh, the necklace mm -hmm. and word your mage hand just shoop, swoops it up before it even hits the floor. Mm -hmm. I'll just right. tuck that back in. <laughs> your antics are a little misguided and I think you're pissing everybody off. <laughs> yeah, I can Take see it from that. word. Like, <laughs> He's found a a way to make an art of striking the exact right balance of how much to piss people off before they start swinging. Exactly. And you're making my friends here start swinging. We don't want that. Just to make sure, do I still have the other heart? Yes, you have the other one. You have okay. the, the napkin. Good. How long does Entangle last? <laughs> like an hour concentration, I think. Yeah. So uh, much fuss over a dumb necklace. A concentration up to one minute, so necklace. he's gonna get out of there soon, but. <laughs> oh, up to one minute, okay. When you were reading those books, did they happen to include any details at all about the nature of the giant sacred tree in the very forest you hail from? Ugh. Whatever. Great. <laughs> okay. You know what, Kim? The lords, wanna... the dragons, they're all just trying to keep us down. I'm trying to keep us strong like the old faithful. And how exactly are you trying to keep you yourself strong? Sticking it to the by, man, by... like you. We're not the man. We're people in a cot traveling on a road, and you're here grabbing random stuff that you don't know about. Like a You've few skills, playing cards? You... Yeah. Come what? on. Don't downplay the playing cards. Those are important. Do you have number 53? I can't find that one. <laughs> that, damn, I knew someone messed with these. Get, get up there, like... I told you not to mix the decks. I put mine next to yours, and then we hit a bump, and they spill. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll fix it on the way. I'll fix it on the way there. Give me that. He squints his decks. eyes, and as you guys are fumbling about, oh my gosh, you're the pilgrims! Oh, that's hilarious. That means Kip failed. Oh, that's rich. Oh, Who's she's Kip? not gonna be able to show her face oh, in the woods wait. again. I remember she's Kip. The we like Kip. Sasha. Yes, yeah. she's cool. Oh, oh man, okay. I, I was this, about I'm to tell it. everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were sticking it to the man without even realizing that we are actually official emissaries of the man. Do you ah. just assume that anyone who owns a cart is the establishment? Well, I was right, wasn't I? No. <laughs> oh, this is a Isn't whole different kind of nightmare. If you go back and tell them all that you interrupted a whole ritual to save the tree you're supposed to be protecting. I could just or transversely, you could just not sure? come back at all. Yeah, if, I think if we hurt him just a little bit, then he'll get to, to learn the lesson. <laughs> Look, we don't need to hurt him. I think maybe if you want to cause some mischief, right, kid? What's your name? Did we have we gotten that yet? Hmm. My name's Allie. Allie. It isn't, don't but believe, don't worry don't about believe, it. I don't believe. Fey <laughs> folk are uh, just like that with names. Hey, that's profiling. <laughs> but am I wrong? <laughs> he just kind of squints his eyes and grumbles. <laughs> Would have been a good spell. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Look, do you want to cause a bit of properly directed mischief, or do you want a couple of wings snap and to go back home? <laughs> You're considering one or the other, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. I'm listening. We're headed to Politrios. There's a bunch of stuck-up people there, and some of them we might not like that well. And uh, we can definitely, it's a high population. We can find some that we choose not to like. I, I feel like we've done that everywhere we've gone. Yes, I would venture that we already have a group of people mm -hmm. that we don't particularly like. So instead of attacking people who could very easily threaten or end or disfigure your life, you could come with us, and then you could have us helping you as... You do kind of what you want. Okay. Mostly what we want, but it's fun. Hmm. 
Or you snap my wings, I go back into the Circa Forest, tell on you to people tend into Quarencia, then you get in a lot of trouble. Oh, that's a fun game to play, you see, because I was thinking you don't get to go anywhere after today otherwise. Ooh. Is that a, okay, I, can, is that, a, is can, that an intimidation yeah, or is that a deception? That's intimidation. Right, that's just intimidation. intimidation. With oh, advantage. Please roll has, it with advantage. Yeah, with advantage. I'm Absolutely begging you. My lord. Because uh, he is entangled. Okay. okay. <laughs> you, you can't do that. Can you? Uh, we have... Uh, uh, I, I'm can. actually forgetting the name of our crew. What do we call the Pilgrims of Satya? I got really heated. Yes, we're the Pilgrims. <laughs> we can do what we want. We're saving Satya. Don't fuck with us. I'm gonna get my hammer. <laughs> don't get your Don't get your hammer yet. He okay. hasn't said no yet. Do you want uh, yeah, to continue to tomorrow? Should I get my hammer? You You can't actually do that, right? Right. You attacked us on the road, and we are I'm, I'm on a very a, important uh, mission. I suspect any of the authorities in the woods of the Circa Forest that actually understand the importance of what we're doing and the artifact that you briefly stole would be rather displeased to know that a truant youth from their forest nearly caused the apocalypse 15 years down the line. I, uh, 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 there's a better question. Do you really want to try us and see if we're capable of that? He, his eyes look dart back and forth to all four of you. Okay, you win. At the bare minimum, I recommend reading the actual <laughs> books about this before you go raring off in a random direction. Start picking fights, really. Look, a kid, fae from the Circa silly. Forest who doesn't know yeah. what the point of Quarencia is. That's a little goofy. Whatever, you're goofy. Look, we, can, <laughs> we can be friends and you can be silly. Just don't be stupid. I will not be friends. <laughs> I will also not be friends. But that's okay. That's all right. Words nicer we made up than words. I already friends. both hate Faye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't hate Faye on principle. I simply hate it when people steal very important artifacts. Oh, it's fine. But, I'm fine. But, <laughs> I'm but, walking and, uh, away. Word turns around kind of trying to hold back a smile, but he got away with it. Briefly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah. are, we, are we leaving the kid here, or, or are we taking him with us? That would be very funny. The I think spell will last for some to amount take of him time. With I, mean, I don't know right. if we want to unleash him on an unsuspecting town. We theoretically want to get in the good graces of Trevisetta, on the other hand. <sighs> yeah, kid, there's a place called Trevisetta kind of west of here. You, that, that'd be oh. a great place for you to if go. If you meet us there, we will set fire to everything. No, no, we won't. <laughs> Okay. We cannot be held to that. To a couple of things. There's a lot of the mans in Trevisetta, I hear. That, well, that is that's correct. Ponzi guys, yeah. In fact, the man just acquired large swaths of Nuba Sky. Oh, wow, but Nuba Sky is so fun. Yes. As it's I understand it, some of the mans are attempting to remedy that. Perhaps you could be some sort of folk hero if you went and helped them out. We uh we know someone who owns a tavern down there, don't we, Word? We do, but I feel like these two would not get along. <laughs> but it would be very funny. It would be, but also I'm trying to set up an operation, <laughs> and that would really be a wrench in it. I feel like we can use this kid. He is a wrench. We don't want to throw him into gears. This analogy I don't wanna, is becoming confusing. Yeah, I don't want to use <laughs> the kid. We can use him to I, do things. I just, I want to just get away from the kid who tried to steal all our sh stuff. Um, After I said all that. Word, you know no, what? You can, it's it, your problem. You do whatever you want. It's your problem. <laughs> I just think it would be uh, funny to leave him here. It would be rather funny, but Word has a point. <sighs> this kid's skills right, are Allie. impressive. Which Thank is you. your preference? Well, uh, fine. I'll cause some mischief in your name. Mm. Do it up. The name's Wood. Wait, actually. Word. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. I don't actually know any old phase spells. I just thought I'd scare His you. actions will have Has nobody read later. the official dealing with the Fey handbook? No. Well, those have been outdated no. for for centuries. I don't know that magic anymore. I don't read. Well, that's deeply tragic, but I know on both counts. 
So you were sending this kid to back to Nuba Sky? Yeah. <sighs> there are a few places he could be directed to cause mischief against people we do not think have the world's best interest at heart. I don't have a preference for where he goes. <laughs> As long as he leaves us alone and doesn't steal important things without knowing what they are. Oh. Yeah, I would generally prefer that we leave people in our good graces. Uh... Well, whatever you let me do, uh, could I at least go back to the Circa Force to tell everyone about Kip? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you said that name earlier. How, how do you know Kip? Ah, oh, Kip, yeah. Me and her, we grew up together. She was never really good at anything. I'm, I'm not saying that to be mean either. It's just the truth. She sucks. She can't wood weave, she can't fly very fast, she's a lousy shot, and a worse swordsman. Yeah, she actually got us pretty good. Yes, yeah, I highly she's become that. rather a capable warrior. Did better than you did. <laughs> oh, hey, listen. <laughs> I stole hey, listen. You, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we got our stuff back because you didn't follow through with your job. You failed. Yeah, from where I'm standing, it doesn't seem like you were super successful. Yeah. The well, job's not done until you're free from you're it. Really you're really hairy. What'd you say? No, 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 <laughs> no, I won't get mad at that. This uh, is such yeah. a chaotic experience. Your your hair's blue. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, now Guys that we've like it. finished observing yeah, well, things about each other. <laughs> I hate this kid. I hear a lot of guys like it. So what? I hear... I heard they, some of them don't. All right. <laughs> as fascinating as this is. Hold me back. I will, I will beat this guy up. <laughs> I think that it might behoove you to take some advice that we gave to Kip, which is to question what it is you actually want to do and pursue that. And as fun as robbing random people who can't tell that you're there might be, sometimes it backfires very badly and everyone in the woods will make fun of you or possibly arrest you for some sort of endangering the world crime that I assume you have there. Give me a persuasion. So, you know what? <laughs> me? A persuasion? Once again, yeah, okay. you're, you're doing a lot of the persuading in a lot of this campaign, I'm realizing. <laughs> he actually is taken aback by that and kind of squints his eyes. He really starts to consider. Thanks? I guess. There you go. You're now for your life welcome. and your freedom, take these. And I'll give him five of my aces. Um, <laughs> each of them with my name written on His them. His arms are bound. Oh, I, do you want I, me to I drop tuck, that? <laughs> I essentially tuck them into his shirt. Put those somewhere in point. Don't Wait, spend could, them all in one place. You could get these off of me. How long does this oh, last, yeah. anyway? I'll drop concentration on the spell. <laughs> till, till about right now. As long as he drops head first a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, he does, and his face just immediately in the dirt. <laughs> mm, gentle hands he got. Not really. Oh, and he dusts himself off. How big is he? He is like, you're, he's just a little bit, he's like one head above you, word. He is he's not just a little small. guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't believe you now made him I say, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose... This was fun. Yes, you'll be Thank on your you merry for your way time. now. I'll never forget you, uh, kid. Everyone, nobody's Howard. missing anything, right? He just kind of looks... He rolls his eyes a little bit, reaches in his pocket, and hands Buck you one gold piece. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the lucky coin, is it? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> right, just keep it, kid. I give it back to him. Aw. He he looks at it. Why? And like holds it closer to you like it's icky. Now he owes you a life debt. Very wise, Buck. <laughs> the ways of the old Fae have not been entirely forgotten. That's a thing? Yes, definitely. Okay, I uh, do <laughs> Mage Hand Ledgerman. I'm going to slip a gold piece into his pocket. <laughs> Wait, did you just, is that, is that a bomb? Did you just put a bomb on me? Worse, what? it's responsibility. <laughs> oh, I hate responsibility. Yeah, That does too. make sense. Ugh. Actually, no, some of them are good. 
fine, whatever. I'm going back to the forest and- See, you'd be a great mom. Trevacetta, you said. Yes, they seem to be having a- making a habit of attempting to harsh the vibes of everywhere they go. Hmm. That place is probably just as dangerous as us, but probably a lot more fun. Just as dangerous? I don't know. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'll see you later, pilgrims. And he flies off north. All right. And he's I'm that guy. slow telling on him. <laughs> from, <laughs> from afar, he yells out, By the way, real name is Liam. Liam v Vilalba. Yeah, that definitely sounds like something he didn't just make up. <laughs> Liam looks at smudged writing on hand. V v Liam. Vialba. Liam. All right, someone note that down in case we need to do some kind of true name binding magic later. I've got it. Also, Buck, Buck he doesn't won't. actually owe you a life debt. I just thought it would be funny. God damn it. Was I, I correct? <laughs> I just thought that he could probably use that wherever he's going. Hmm. Might teach him some manners if he has to actually pay for things. Buck, do you want to make a really high stakes bet? <laughs> Go on. What do you mean? I am willing to put 20 coins to one that when we get to Trevisetta and we look for the dragon's heart, we're going to find one of my cards. <laughs> you're, you're betting. So if I put down one gold, you're going to pay me back 20 if we don't find one of your cards in, in place of that heart? Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll absolutely take that bet. There's no <laughs> chance that kid's getting the heart. Or All right, let's get back aces. on the road. All right. I would I'll, perhaps I'll... lay a bet that when we reach Trevisetta, we find him in some sort of horrifying mage prison. <laughs> just, but just dead. here, Lyra, you hold it. You just you, squashed you... with a fly swatter. I'm 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 I'm, I'm going to put up twenty gold against this. <laughs> All right. I don't entirely know how this works, but I'm so, sure we'll right, figure it 20 out. Twenty to twenty. Let's get That's back on the road, shall we? 400 gold if you, if, you, if you are incorrect. And you guys continue on the road as you head north back onto the road, heading towards Pelitrios to the west. And uh, you approach the bridge that avoids the river splitting the verdant hills and the Barbellan savanna that Pelitrios calls home. And on it, you see a troll woman who seems oh, to be boy. lost in thought and talking to herself at the foot of her bridge. Okay. All right. Well, I feel like every bridge is going to be a problem. Uh, who wants to... It, it, do I recognize her? Is she the one that we spoke to earlier? No, this uh, is a different troll. Okay. Does she have any markings that resemble the other ones, or is she, like, clearly independent? A clearly a different <laughs> so, okay. independent troll. Okay, sorry. <laughs> different Didn't person. know if there was, like, a, a network of them. We don't want to stereotype. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I didn't know if they had a union or not. Uh, yes, of course. So yeah, she is uh, looking at her bridge and just kind of looking around. Does not seem to have noticed you all yet. The bridge can't be that wide. Uh, ha hail, hello there. <laughs> you call out oh, to her boy. and she uh, yeah. kind of jumps a bit and you can see she is a lo kind of smaller than the troll uh, trolls in Nuba Sky. She has red braided mm. hair and a few piercings on her and a bushy eyebrows. Uh-huh. That's and cool. there she is. Nice. And she kind of jumps. Oh, rotten roots, you startled me. Haven't you ever heard, uh, ever been taught not to sneak up on folk? My deepest beggings for forgiveness. I, I didn't realize how gone you were. Uh, uh, is, what is happening? Uh, any chance you're going to let us pass? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, sorry, I, I'm just a bit miffed right now. It's no problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you need to cross the bridge. That yes. we do, my friend. That we do. Uh, okay. Um. All right. Uh, she looks it over. Uh, 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 that will be five gold pieces for the cart and one per passenger, and the horses get to pass free. Oh, that's generous. Yeah. Reasonable. Here's, well, who's got money? I've got it. Here's nine gold. <laughs> all right. Thank you, You my hand friend. it over to her, and she is just kind of, like, fiddling with her fingers, <laughs> and you see that she's kind of biting her nails as the cart starts to cross over the bridge when she steps aside. Yeah. Uh, I, I, like, get halfway across <laughs> the bridge, almost, and then I'll, like, drop my head and flick the, the reins to make the horse stop. The horses stop, and as soon as they do, you can see that uh, one of the stones 
on the path comes loose and falls about a dozen feet down into the watery river below. Oh, the wind? Oh, words yes. heart rate loose jumps. Stones <laughs> mucking up. Are you all right, love? I'm sorry about that. that concrete must have been a sh shoddy mixer. I swear this river must be cursed or something fierce. Uh, how, how far down is the river? The river is about a dozen feet, like, below the bridge. Okay. Uh, do we want to stay on this bridge? Yeah, can we no. keep... Let's, let's keep the horses moving. She please, runs uh, up to, like, uh, stop you. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. And do you mind explaining yourself? Uh, Almost getting us killed. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. It's just this bridge, you see? It's been causing me so much trouble. It's like it falls apart every other hour. I've tried getting then, meddling charms, mending charms and reinforcement beams and all the works, but this thing just don't like to stay whole. Hmm. Even my night shift partner has been having to put the bricks back in place in the dead of night. It's starting to get exhausting. Well, that's quite strange. Um, Who has... Um jurisdiction over the bridge like who are you collecting the toll for uh, it's just mine I'm independent I keep this bridge oh. up she's a property owner I well that's quite respectable um yes but it right. might be time to move I'll um grab the true sight lantern and hand it to Fritz mm -hmm. can you make a, a quick round through there see if there's anything down there mucking this up sure thing oh. thank you Oh, no, love, you ha ha You don't need to go through that trouble. Uh, best just use the bridge to the north, the elf that keeps that one. He's a it's all right. right. I've been sitting down for so long. I need to stretch my wings. That's a bit And we already paid you. And that's a bit out oh, of our way. Even that, I feel like I, you deserve a refund. Well, that's very kind of you, but... <laughs> it certainly can't hurt to take a quick look. All right, if you say so. Just be careful, love. <laughs> I'm a good flyer, don't worry. So, Fritz, you fly below the bridge, uh, mm -hmm. shining the lantern below it. And uh, as you do get closer, you see that there are some hidden creatures kind of sticking all about below it. But it's a little bit dark as the lantern doesn't light the area like a mm -hmm. uh, proper it's like a UV light. light. Yeah, it's more of like it shows invisible things. You can see that there's something glistening and seeping kind of in the cracks of the stone that is held together with the concrete. Word. Mm. Yeah. Can you see in the dark? Yeah. Hop on my back. We're going again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Giddily hop on your back. All right. With glee, as one would say. Hopping I can also on see the back in the dark. And flying underneath, you can see peering through through the dark shadow under the bridge, you can see that the little glistening spots are actually tiny bits of blot eating no! away on the concrete. Oh boy. All right, we got uh, we, we got Saviors of Satya stuff to do, my friends. Yes. It's, we, it's blots. We should probably There's remove the cart from the t uh, yeah. bridge before we do oh, anything. Yeah. Uh, turning the horses around is such a hassle. I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll, I'll move them and I'll move them okay. quick. Uh, All right. You see the troll kind of lean over the, the side of uh, just kind of looks a little bit concerned. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. You might want to step back unless you can swing something real hard. Oh, I can swing a lot of things hard. Oh, my. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Then grab something heavy. <laughs> we, we got Blot to deal with. Blot? On uh, my bridge? Well, they better yeah. get, get the scraper. And she just stomps over and pulls scraper. out, like, she, she finds, like, a young tree and pulls it from the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Show my me where they're at. <laughs> what, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's got fucking, like, cartoon awugas going on over here. <laughs> She's a goddamn Hinox. <laughs> All right. I think at this point, all of us, I feel like rolling initiative. Yeah, let's throw player. hands. Just yeah, drop me down on the bridge. Initiative. I'm down. So there's no How map big to this because they are relatively harmless. With okay. the, the small bits that they are, they are very kind of splattered about. But I think doing initiative is still go good for uh, taking turns on what you wish to do. 
NPC. So are they actually invisible or did she just not notice them before? They actually are invisible, these blood. Weird. Oh. Mm -hmm. I accidentally used big brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, the NPC was no gonna accident. Go oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Okay. So. Uh, the troll who she introduced her name, I didn't actually introduce in character, but she introduces herself that her name is Olivia. She goes kind of towards the edge, the kind of river bank to try and reach up with her tree to scrape off the little bits of blot with the branches just get off my bridge. <laughs> and you can see a few bits kind of fall kind of here and there. A few of them kind of fall on her shoulder and she kind of brushes them off. Ah, sizzles. Oh, burns a bit. Yes, under the blood is not where I would advise being right now. Mm. Fritz! Uh, how stable do you think this bridge is? Well, not very stable, considering they've been eating all the concrete I've been pouring in. Fritz, why are you asking that question? Mm, I wonder. No. <laughs> this is her property, don't bring it down. <laughs> We'd have to wait for her to rebuild it. How strong of a wind do you think it would take for it to fall? What? Oh, we can handle a good wind. Good. Be fine. Uh, Very strong. Step back. I'm casting gust of wind to blow hey. them off under. Because <laughs> we yeah. fixed your character sheet to properly have it now. Yes. Oh, wait. I can actually. Is ooh, it in my spells? Ooh, ooh. It's in your spells. Check it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we all got shrunk. 60 feet long, 10 feet wide. Blast from you in the direction. So which direction are you trying to blast the blot under the so bridge? I guess I'll be under and I'm pointing it if you see my ruler. That way. Ah, pushing it away. Mm hmm. Just like directly. Just kind of like that trying way. to right. de lodge them. Okay, try to de lodge them. Yep, you de lodge quite a bit. They just mm -hmm. go flying and they actually drop into the river. Ooh, that might be no good. <laughs> yeah, that's we'll my end of my turn. There. And I will say, I'm keeping track. I would say about. Uh, there is, so how I'm keeping track of this is the little blotlings are going to have a combined hit point amount mm. that you guys will take off each time you try to scrape them off and stuff. That's how we'll do it. If they fall into the river, are they out? Are they dead? No, they are not. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because they came out from the ocean to attack us previously. I, I didn't think they were, you know, water soluble. <laughs> a blotic. <laughs> Word. Uh, I'm just gonna try to run under the bridge, daggers ablazing, and do both a uh, primary attack and then a two-handed weapon attack. Ooh. Okay. So first with negotiation. Nice. And look, yeah. I even added the little fire thing that you got it. Ooh. Yeah, that's super helpful. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be nine damage. Oh yeah. Without yes, the... you go and stab and slice at these little things, and little driplets of it fall on you. Actually, I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity oh, saving no. throw. That's my specialty. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. oh, ouch. <laughs> they kind of land on you and sizzle a bit on your skin as you are going to take four I acid didn't expect damage. them to pop like blisters. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ouch. No. Uh, I'll swing at the one that's like bleeding on me <laughs> uh, with that second attack. So okay, that's a 13. Yes, you chop up quite a hits. few bits of the little <laughs> teeny bits of blot. They're, they're only about like the size of your fist, but uh, they still Cute. burn. All the same. They're very tiny. That's gross. Mm -hmm. All right, that's my turn. Buck, your turn. I want to draw a card to see if my rage can uh, give me anything that will benefit me. Uh, so I'll reach down to my my deck and I will pull one of my eight cards. Let me see if. Ooh, when so, a creature hits you in an attack roll before your rage ends, a creature takes 1d6 force damage. Ooh. Ooh. All right. It's covered in sort of an armor um, of magic. And I will, I guess, just throw a reckless attack at these old boys. Okay. Uh, okay. You. That's going to be nine total um, because All right. it's, I'm, yeah, rage. Rage. I'm raging. Yes. You kind of... How are you attacking these blocks? Because they're... Keep in mind, they're hanging and kind of attached oh. to the bottom of the bridge. Mm -hmm. I was maybe gonna just attack the ones to clean up the the ones that are falling into the, like the water. Ah, like, in the water. Okay, that's much yeah. safer. 
good. Yes, you splish splash with your hammer, smacking the ones in the water, um, kind of with enough force that you don't even have to bat them into any surface before you're able to kind of splatter them and uh, they lose their form and kind of dismiss into the water, get absorbed into it. Nice. Anything else? That's it. That no, no, that would be it. Uh, you don't have a second attack or anything? Uh, do I have a... You're level five. Yeah, I do. I do have a second attack. I was going to say. I do oh, have a do. second attack. Mm, yes. So that's you 12 hit, total. Okay, all the blot that was Whoa. thrown into the water, thanks to Fritz, are now Jeez. gone. Now there's only more blot on the bottom of a ridge. Woohoo. Layra. Uh, yes. I have a few options. Most of them are overkill. Instead of doing that, I would like to... <laughs> um, can I get rid of Ice Knife? No, Ice Knife is just first level. Uh, I would like to cast Frostbite on one of the um, one of the little fellas that's uh, on the bridge. Mm-hmm. So it's a cantrip, so I can just kind of keep doing it. All right. Um, Let's see it. It's not exactly doing okay. the most damage, Four. but... Okay, so a few of them just kind of like sp- spread out of the way, kind of like a little goopy like venom just like shoop, into a hole and you kind of blast into the bridge as the ice kind of frost covers the stone and you can see that it starts to crack as well where the blot once was oh no i made it worse and uh yeah i'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw as well as a few bits of stone start to fall Oh boy, I was kind of hoping I could do this while not being under the oh, bridge. Oh, not being under. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's it's got fine. a it's got a range of sixty feet. Oh, I was kind of hoping. Of, never mind. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to worry about that then. You're, you're Thank trying you. to snipe them. Yeah. Will that be your turn then? That's my turn. Right, Cast a spell. Turn. Okay, so the blot on under the bridge, seeing that they're finally being noticed, are actually start to slither towards the very edge of it to go down to the ground and seep mm. into it. And you can see that uh, Olivia's kind of swipe away with her tree with its branches. Oh, get out of here! And you can see that one of them actually takes on a little carcass's body of what looks to be some kind of wild dog and starts to run uh, away. Mm, oh no. That's so gross. That's very bad. And there's only I, a f- I, We shouldn't let that one get away. Yeah, I agree. There's only a few bits of blot left, uh, as well as a few of them trying to escape. Fritz, your turn. Okay, let me double check how this works. I am going to use Hail of Thorns. Wait, does that take an action or is that a bonus action? Yes, it's a bonus that action. That is a bonus action, I'm pretty so, sure. So, hit a thorns. And okay. crossbow time on the dog. Crossbow time. Yep, that is going to hit the dog as well as a few other blotlings that are trying to escape with it. And the hail of thorns shoot out from it. Max damage. And yeah, these things are real frail. So you take care of them before they're able to escape. Their form withers. And the kind of wild dog carcass just kind of uh, goes back to being mostly skeleton, as it once was. And, yeah, well done. Oh, I, I think that's actually all the blood. Uh, let me see. Hey, I think that was everything. Yeah, that is work, actually team. all the blood. Well done. Yay. You have cleaned up b- the bottom of the bridge of its little blot infestation. And Yay. Olivia just, like, uh, throws the tree she had to the side. Oh, <laughs> to think and I had I had the Arcanists search for magic they should have been searching for creatures <laughs> gotta cover all your bases oh well that takes care of that it makes sense now why all my repairs were doing nothing here she hands you back the gold really I should oh. be paying you for helping me with all that <laughs> who does she hand the gold uh, to? back to anybody <laughs> who will take it I'll take it no <laughs> <laughs> Well, You're so kind yeah. and considerate. She kind of puts one hand to her chest. Oh, thank you. She's got to be like 
massive compared oh, to yes. you. She's pick like up a nine tree and I'm like, oh, You're focusing on this <laughs> to an interesting degree. Wait, you got the, you're raising someone up up here. Oh. My neck is fully crisp. And who is it that I can up. give my thanks and saviorship to? That would be Wood and the rest of the saviors of such. Oh, temporarily at your service. Well, temporarily. I'll do like a little <laughs> bow at her toes. Temporarily is such a blessing, especially with now I'm. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. This allows me to fix my bridge, and I won't even have to move. Oh, that's great. I can continue my business. And thank you so much. Yes, it's not going to fall apart nice again one. either, which is real nice. No, not anymore. All right. Well, turn the horses around again, Buck, and we'll get going. <laughs> uh, watch the like, hole. I'm like trying to dry off. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch the hole, love. Oh, oh yes, yeah. of course. Uh, yep. Right. And you are Sorry. able to cross the bridge to the other side, and it is still crumbling quite a bit from the uh, kind of leftover damage that the blot left, but you can see that she is immediately uh, kind of got a what looks to be some kind of soil bag and mixing it in like a, a massive bucket oh. um, or, or like a okay. keg. <laughs> it looks like she's making some more concrete. Just as a, as a minor precaution, I'm going to cast Floating Disc and uh, ah. always keep one of them below the two front hooves of Butterscotch mm, just in case. Very good. Yes, you're able to make the trip across oh. the bridge it's seamless and uh, cool. easily for both of the horses. Well done. If Butterscotch gets more hurt, that would suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job. All right. Well, we're across the river. We got a... We look on the map. What's that? Uh, that, you can tell, is a <laughs> watchtower. It is just sort of a thing that uh, yep. is stationed with a few like official guards to keep a lookout and make sure everything is all right. Um, uh, I was hoping it was ancient ruins, but I will accept Watchtower. No, the ancient ruins are these little crumbled things over here. Ooh. Oh, the ruins that look more ancient. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> See, that's Melitrios. Oh, uh, sue me for being hopeful. Low, the, the deserts of Low Pyramios have uh, a lot of them. A number of ruins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could explore that sometime. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Who knows? With no motivation other than curiosity. Yeah. Yes. So yes, you pass the Let's watchtower. <laughs> you can see a few official guards kind of give you a little wave through as you follow down the road. And they seem like not on edge? No, not at all. They seem pretty casual, okay, actually. Cool. All right, I spy something that is green. Is it trees? Uh, he, oh. Is it grass? Uh, yeah, it was trees. <laughs> actually, uh, as you, you get closer and closer go. to Polytrios, <laughs> The, the terrain looks more des uh, deserty. There is still wild grass here and there, but the trees take more like palm trees and uh, the grass is more yellowy the, uh, as you get closer and closer and a more dusty kind of hilly uh, terrain and biome. All right, I got a I new spy. one. This <laughs> oh, okay, go for it. No, this one's not trees this time. It's a little. When oh, I, right. I spy something that's a little yellowy, uh, a little, little green, but mostly sort of like yellowyish. I would describe it as dying grass. Yeah, it was dying grass. Okay, <laughs> you can go now. I, I gotcha. Uh, nature right. is truly beautiful. I spy something long and weird looking. That's a uh, rude way to describe Buck, but... Hey, was, was it <laughs> me? Fit the was it me? <laughs> yes and no, that's not what I was thinking. Uh, but now I am. <laughs> Is it the watchtower? I'm still frustrated. You have to have it in mind. It can't be me and something else. Okay, uh, I, I remember what it was now. I saw another one. Is it the tree, the palm tree? Yeah, it's the tree. Ah, uh, all right. I'm still <laughs> again. I'm still but a little these ones upset. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you travel down the road, down to this more <laughs> sandy terrain, uh, and you get a decent distance away from the watchtower, kind of in a more barren landscape, you see a figure kind of standing in the middle of the road, directly uh -oh. where you are meant to travel. Uh, a very wow, familiar I figure. Yeah, I oh, wonder if no. the soundtrack is spoiling it. And you can see that it looks tall and black as night, covered oh. in 
a viscous fluid. Uh, it is mm. a humanoid blob. Oh no! I thought it was I thought it was slot destruction. I thought it was I'm sorry. <laughs> Bright glowing red eye. Oh boy! And it's standing there, still. All right. Uh, who has the hearts? Is Me. it Fritz and Or do you have both of them? Yes. Yeah. All right. Just stay here. Can I'll do my best. <laughs> oh, this is so cool so the, with the music. You're the, going to the music play. <laughs> I'm, Yeah, I'm doing the um, sort of JoJo, uh, you're approaching <laughs> me style walk with with word. Our word, cool. are you coming with me? Yeah, behind you. <laughs> uh, I will. Oh, yeah, there's there's a, uh, a lone tumbleweed that, that rolls by, <laughs> and I, I have my gaucho hat, like, over my eyes and my poncho. <laughs> and my, uh, yeah. This town ain't big enough. This road ain't big enough. This, what are you, can you understand? The road's too narrow. <laughs> Thank you, word. The road's too narrow. Um, is it, when I get off and move, uh, I'm gonna get about this close. Is this thing doing anything? Nothing. It just stands there. Menacingly. Word. Well, it's, uh, it's patient. Can you three just, I'm gonna get close to this thing and see what happens. And I'm gonna ready my, uh... If you see this thing move, uh, Fritz, shoot it. Word, just, Lyra, just protect the hearts. Of course. And I'm going to get my big blind out. You get your big blind out. And as you step forward, it steps forward as well at just about the same pace. Mm -hmm. Oh, the music. What's that spooky thing uh, from that one movie, Annihilation? Move forward. It moves forward as well. I'm gonna like give a glance back at my my compatriots to see if you guys have any other advice. Yeah. I'm gonna just hit this thing. That's probably uh, smart. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh I've got boy. more reach. I've got I've got bug bugbear arm. I can I can hit this thing when it gets within. You? Oh, inter interesting. I'm gonna step this way. It just like turn like you can see its eye is not like in a socket or anything it actually turns on the the liquidy fluid that it's made up of to look uh. at you buck it's like it's on its surface god this thing is so icky why is it like this why are you like this <laughs> it's a little uh, <laughs> take another step it takes a step forward once again. Now one more step and it's within range of me. Can I like look around? Is there like anything? I'm worried there's stuff hiding. Like, yeah, I can we be scanning anything? the rest of the field? Yes. Just to sort you of... can give me a perception, all of you. Roger that. Sure. Okay. Hey. Buck, you are you are too focused on this guy. Uh however, mm -hmm. uh Lyra, you can tell the landscape that this is the perfect place for some kind of ambush where yes. you are between two hills where neither the watchtower nor even the city of Palutrios would really be able to see. Uh, Word and Poi, uh, rather Fritz, Word and Fritz, <laughs> uh, you can tell the same thing. <laughs> I did that. However, you can tell as well that this blot is not the only blot here and there is a lot of them hiding in the bushes. Oh no, not the bushes! I've been hiding in the bushes. Lyra. <laughs> yes. Scoot over. Back to back. When I lion. Very well. I'll say I have been like skittering yeah, around I'm, doing I'm that gonna, perception, I'm just checking where I'm stay close to Lyra and, and be back, like sitting back to back, so we're watching each other's backs. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it. And when you point them out, you can tell that here. I'll put the blot that you do see. Thanks. You can see that okay. they're mostly hounds. Uh, oh, no. oh my here? goodness! Mostly, mostly hounds. Here, 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 oh. and here. Wait a minute, Buck. Mm? Oh my God! Wait a minute. And as you look to me, I sort of poke my tiny little head out of a bush, and I make gestures to each of their points, and I hold up the number of them that there are that I've seen. Uh, I'll just sort of nod that I understand. Um, Fritz? Mm? 
just go, if this thing takes us another step forward, or if you want to start this thing off, I'll follow your lead. You want me to shoot? <laughs> I can shoot at the same time. We'll catch him by surprise with two arrows to the eyes. I Assuming it can't hear I. us. If he can't hear us, it doesn't matter. I don't think he's... Either he's not getting away from here or we are. Yeah. He's as trapped right. as we are. I'm not sure about that. Should we roll initiative at some point? Yeah. I'm not going to rush anybody. Um, Should we um, roll initiative or am I... I take the in, first shot. I would say initiative happens when an encounter that requires turns happens. Okay. Right now, although tense, nothing has happened that would require turns, I believe. Mm. Technically, not yet. The figure simply <laughs> stands it, it, and stares at you, Buck, for a little bit. Then the uh, eye jolts back over, kind of in the direction to look at Word, look at Fritz, look at Lara, and mm -hmm. then it grows what looks to be a limb, an arm, Slowly mm. lifting up and Pseudopod. points at Lyra. Eh. <laughs> okay. Can I? I have my bow trained on can this I one. Cast... I have a thing I want to do as well. Yeah, can I but... cast protection and evil on you? Ooh, from good and evil. That'd be nice. Can I do that on you, Lyra? Please do. Cool. Because I I also have an idea, but it depends on whether or not we can there start casting go. spells. <laughs> Wizard money okay. game. Okay, protected <laughs> benefits. Da, da, da. Disadvantaged on attack rolls. Okay. Oh, because Lara mm -hmm. has the hearts, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, okay. You cast this, and you can see the hand shakes a bit, and turns more into a claw. <laughs> <laughs> Did not like that. All right. Uh. Okay. Can you? Sorry, I was gonna try and talk to the thing. Oh, feel free to. I'm not gonna do okay, anything go until it's clear that we're about to fight, but I, I'm like, it's happening, I can feel it. <laughs> can you understand? The me? eye jolts from looking at Lyra to you, Buck, like quick, fast motion. Oh, I don't like that. That means yes, but it can't talk to you. Wait, that means we can parlay. <laughs> but we know what it wants, so that's actually useless. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it doesn't take a step go forward, ahead. but it leans down. As This thing is incredibly tall. It's like 10 feet tall. It leans down forward to be oh, at God. eye level with you, Buck. Almost like making a 90 degree angle from where it's sort of its waist would be. Ugh. I feel like 10 to 12 um, feet is the most careful. terrifying stature. Yeah, it's so tall. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be going to be real slow about this. I'm going to reach down to my regular deck of playing cards, not my rage one, just my regular <laughs> deck, and I'm going to get a red card and a black card. And I'm going to I'm going to hold a one in each hand, red in my right hand, we'll say, and red and right and black in my left, and I'm going to hold them up to either side, so I'm kind of just... I'm T-posing, essentially. <laughs> uh, and so, I, But I'm just holding them up so he can see that there's red and a black, and I'm just going to indicate to the red. Red for yes. Black for no. And I'm just going to kind of toss them on the ground in front of him so that like one would be... I guess one would be to one side, one would be the other. And I'll put my hand, I guess, back on my... on big blind... <laughs> Can you understand me? It's a. Ch I'm trying to get him to indicate to red for yes, black for no. If 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 he can understand me, it moves its long kind of squidgy hand over onto the red card. Oh gosh, that's not what I was prepared for. Um, it was so red, for, red for yes, right? Red for yes, rest. Yeah. It so can, so it can't understand. understand. Red is the yeah, no it code. can understand okay. me. I knew it. Um, and you're here for us. It uh puts its hand over the red card again. Hey. Hey guys, mm -hmm. if you had anything you want to ask this thing, um, yes or no questions only, 
now would be the time. Um, it's understands us, and it's here for us. I inferred that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at 20 questions. Oh, boy. I would have thrown uh, the cards, I guess, far enough to the left or the right so that, like, they could probably see which direction mm -hmm. th this thing's, like, hand is going so that they can... I want that... I don't want to be the only one to be able to communicate yeah. if you guys have... Want Let's to be able do... To... Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, something like that. Are you gonna... Let us pass? It simply sits there and really it just does nothing for almost a full minute before putting its hand that over means on it's the up black to us. card. Ah, <sighs> uh, never mind. Mm. You're trying to get the hearts, is that right? It puts the hand over the red card. Do you have a master? <sighs> Yeah. You put a black card. No. Oh. I was gonna say yes or no. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Anything else oh, you want to know, guys? I've limited us to the yes or no. Although yeah. I think that's right. better oh, than that's cards. better than that's better than nothing. I, All right. Yeah, this yeah. card is A. This a. card is B. Yeah, right. My I've. <laughs> If only I had designed my character to be an Ouija board player, and then this would be, <laughs> this would be a much easier con confrontation. Oh, we get one uh, of those, like, I boards. Ask, are you alive? Ooh. It looks down at both cards, and then just back up to you. <laughs> cool. Okay, so it's a bit more complicated than that, all right. And it takes a step forward. Yep, Ooh, okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna move. Buck. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay where I am. We might stop blasting. <laughs> Words a little on edge as it steps within a Buck's little, range. Yeah. No, just like that's a whole different. That's now or never that we start the fight. I still have my arrow trained on this guy closest to my horses, but I'm like breakneck at you. Mm. What do we do, Buck? Um, I'm trying to think. I want to. Um, are you going to stop at this? If we defeat you here. <laughs> it takes a step forward. Okay, can I do a thing? Go ahead. Uh, I would like to cast Call Lightning. <gasps> hmm. Now, I checked, and this spell has a radius of 120 feet. It's very large. Oh. Which is the entire map. Yes, oh. but it doesn't hit everyone. It does not. It you hits one choose. target. That's right. So, do you wish to cast that spell? Yes, Is I do. Is everyone okay with Lyra casting that spell? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. In that case, yeah, out of character. No. We are what? going. Hmm? I don't know. Word would have mixed feelings on this because we don't really have a consensus now. But that's a fair move. So, out of character, this is okay. Absolutely. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Then in that I case, said, yeah, I don't know. If you, I, did I word that wrong? Yeah, you yeah, said you like out no. of. You're like oh, out I'm of character. So sorry. Yeah. No, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, odd. word's fine with this. I'm furious. Wait, wait. Now go for it. Now so you're right. kidding. You're kidding when you say that. Now I'm okay. kidding. Okay, <laughs> gosh. Okay. Right. Damn tone I'm indicators. Too okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna roll initiative are, are, and Layra are you immediately slash... cast the spell. Uh, yes, the spell. Let me roll my terrible plus zero initiative. Are you slash S or are you slash JK? <laughs> yeah. Slash JK. How the heck? My, my die came up cocked on my actual browser. <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. Oh, uh, jeez. Let's see. Plus two, plus zero. Okay. So it's going to be this. All right. Uh, but because she was the one who started the encounter, uh, Lebra can <laughs> Little old me. Sorry. So I just get skittish. Yeah, call lightning. And who are you picking to be the target of that call lightning, that first call lightning. The big boy. The big However, boy. I would like to put it, if I can, uh, back so that Buck does not need to make the dex save <laughs> yes, to not get hit by lightning. <laughs> yes, because the... I'll do it. <laughs> no, don't. Yeah, just kaboom! There's no need. A massive bolt of lightning crashes down and splashes a large just crack and hole like the like the T-1000 in Terminator 2 into the shoulder of this humanoid blot and it just turns 
and points and all the the blot hounds jump out of their bushes. Yep. Oh boy. Buck, oh boy. it's your turn. Yeah, baby. Buck's turn. I am going to do my... Uh, I'm going to rage. So let me roll my rage to see what happened. Where is it? Hold on to me. Ooh. Ooh, shadowy tendrils. Uh, hey, that's appropriate. Ooh. Necrotic damage. Okay. Yes. And my con save, I think, is 12. Or my save is 13. Okay. Sorry, save is 13. So when For you do this, the tendril bang. lashes out at the bl humanoid blot, and it does nothing. Ooh, that's not that good. Sense. Immune to necrotic, looks like. Or or to this. It doesn't do it to these ones either. None of them. None do of them I, are affected. Do I... I don't think it, like, steals from them. Do I still gain 1d12 temporary hit points? It says you also gain, so I assume that's independent. I would assume that as well. Let me roll 1d... Ah, I'm doing the wrong key things here. 1d12. Nice. 7. Seven each. Let me add that. And then I will. I'm just going to go reckless on. Actually, this first attack. Uh, let me do. Let me just do my first attack uh, normal because I don't know what this guy's capable of yet. So I don't want to do reckless just yet. Uh, let me do attack with big blind. Damn. Mm. Ooh. No, not you go to smack with big blind and its hand that was pointing at Lyra just grabs it. Oh no. It and did the weapon catch. <laughs> let's see. Make a strength saving throw with advantage <laughs> since you're raging. Hey. Nice. It lifts then... you up. Oop. Single handed by big blind and throws you to the side over here. <laughs> Oh, whoa, <laughs> up the hill. <laughs> yep. And you are going to take three, one, uh, reduced to one because you are raging. One bludgeoning okay. damage as it tosses you to the side. Dang. Uh, do I still have my movement? You do, yes. You can just move back. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am gonna move back. I am gonna move back in the way and I will move here because I have 10 feet with being a bar bear, mm -hmm. bugbear. And Joe, I'm gonna roll the all or nothing coin. Ooh. On your second attack? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see it. Fingers Is crossed. it 1D, uh, 1D2? 1D2, two. two is a 20, one is a one. Come on, baby. Dang, yeah. okay. Oh, <laughs> it does it again, you come back for seconds. Uh, roll another ah, strength no. saving throw with advantage. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come I've seen on. this Dragon Ball gift. Daddy needs a new Okay, luckily shoes. this time it goes to yank you, but you hold your ground. Oh, the 18 luckily. was a fail. The 18 okay. was a fail, L yes. Luckily, he says, yes. Eh. Uh, all right, that's my turn. Fritz, your turn. Okay, is it still holding on to his hammer? Uh, yes. All right, I'm a fire my crossbow at its arm that's holding his hammer. Okay, let's see it. Ooh, yes. All right, and it pierces through and the fire <laughs> sizzles and you just basically detach the goopy arm <laughs> as it falls to the ground and <laughs> covers a little bit of Buck's boots. Ugh. Buck's boots. Um, what does this go? I think... Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do here. Lyra You're a ranger, D right? Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure you have a second attack, right? I get a second attack? I'm pretty sure. It'll, it'll tell you it. under actions. Uh, it'll say attacks per action. Oh, two yeah. attacks per action. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, I didn't you can shoot again if you so wish. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm shooting again, but All this right. time who is? I'm going to shoot at this fella over here that's close to Ward. Okay. Let's see it. Pew! Pew! And it poof, lands right in. Oh my God, that's a lot. That just kills it outright. It just. <laughs> Heck yeah, Fritz, let's go. Into a black goop that covers the sand. All right. End of turn. Layra. <sighs> okay. Bonus action. I would like to shift, not wild shape, shift. shift. I gain seven temp HP and my I get slightly faster. 
uh, what it looks like is like a cat puffing up because <laughs> some real scary shit is happening. And then, as because um, call lightning is a concentration spell up to ten minutes. I can use my action to hit things with lightning if they're under the thing. <laughs> I would like to use my action to hit this little guy with lightning. Um, Which one? Ping it? Uh, uh, top right. Ah, there we go. Yes. The guy one. who's okay. a who's almost out of range. I just want to get him before he scoots. Yep, yep. Um, so let me figure out how this works. It's like my only third level spell, so it's allowed to be a little bit OP. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> 3d10 lightning damage on a failed save. Let me just... Whoop. Okay. That's, Ooh, so yes. that's, that's okay. pretty good. And so that's 18 on a failed save, and the save DC I really is should write down your spell save DC. 14? 14. Yeah. Okay. It's going to make... It's going to make it so the lightning just kind of hits it on the side, but the sparks kind of throw it off a little bit. It is close to dead. So it takes nine damage. Okay. Yes. Cool. It, uh, it is stumbles a little bit as it tries to quickly get back onto its feet. All right. Good start. That was my bonus action and my action. So I'm just, All right. just holding concentration. Word. All right. Uh, I think my best course of action will be to dash under the horses. <laughs> <laughs> um, use them for cover. And Yeah, I'll use my bonus action to actually try and hide. If not under them, then just like under the cart below Layra. You may give me a stealth Oof. check. Okay. As you slide under okay. the horses like, a, like an Apex Legends character. Slide to the yeah. left. Slide and to the right. We'll see if they notice you. I only got a 14. I have rolled their competing perception check to see if they were able to see you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try... I know this is like a frantic battlefield, so I'm going to try and just launch a short bow arrow at the big boy. The big boy. Okay. Yeah. And the you are going boy. to do it at advantage because he did not spot you. You are stealth against him. Woo! Yeah. Yay. Get him. Yo! Yeah. Crit, crit. Yes. Snake attack crit. That's, let's go. And this just like boom, makes a a, another massive hole in like the side of this thing and blows off another chunk of blot. That was a lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was definitely my whole turn. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. It, so what's the total? Uh, that is 13, 16, 29. Woo. All right, I'm satisfied. Is that right? I did a 29. Very nice. 20, yeah, that's uh, 27. Collective. 27. Yeah. Haha. Oh, just it's 11 it. plus. Yeah. Yeah. No. I was thinking. Still very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so now it's the blot's turn. Mm -hmm. These hounds. Yeah, bring them on. Are going to surround Buck. No. Mm -hmm. Oosh, 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 oosh. Just about every single one of them. Hey. Oh boy! No! Not like you're trying to do the Reggie Rock thing. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. What's even the point of the thing pointing at me? <laughs> and this thing. I'm not afraid of these things. So they are all going to take you a bite what? out of no. you, gnashing away at you. No! Yeah, yeah. They're gonna yeah. take quarters out of Buck. So, sure, no. sure, sure. <laughs> you take a total of 12, reduced to 6 damage. Uh, because of your raging, and Heck yeah. you're going to need to make me three constitution saving throws. Ah! All right, boys, I'll line oh, them boy. up. Here we go with the first one. Do I get Do I get advantage on the... I do not. Flip the coin for all of them. No, no. <laughs> Bang, there's a first one. one. Woo, Flip the good. coin. No, I'm just going to do it. That's another one. That's okay. a second one, and that's the last one. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, the second one does not make it. And Buck, Ooh. you feel one of these bites sizzling at ah. your skin and eating yeah. away at your wound. You eh. cannot recover any HP for the next minute. Ooh. Oh, no! You're <laughs> gloomed. I have not <laughs> lost any HP yet, so none to recover. I've only taken temp HP damage. And the oh, humanoid oh, blot oh, is shit. going to run oh. through... What did I say? <laughs> Through no! all the oh, blood, no. you can see that it almost like That's goes good. through the the like like a these three, like you no know, clips yeah, through. almost like no clips oh, no, through no, no, no. all the other blot hounds as well as Buck. Buck, you do have an attack of opportunity if you'd like to take it as he passes can through I, you. Do it. <laughs> I don't know if I can't. Can I reckless attack uh, of opportunity? I don't think it takes can. a bonus action. Uh, 
It takes a bonus action? No, no, I no. I think reckless attack, ah. you just decide when you make the attack, right? Uh, when you make your first attack on your turn, on your you turn. can decide to attack. Oh, right? that's so, good wording. Okay. So, so I cannot, no. but I will just do a regular. I can just do a regular. That and I'm going to need you to make one more constitution saving throw as it passes through you. Uh, oh, so God. that's 11 total damage. And Ooh, then another yes. constitution? Or another con another constitution. Yep. Okay, you're fine. It goes through you. You can't breathe for a second, but as oh. he just goes, passes through you and doesn't leave a trace of blot behind on you, except for a little bit of drips, uh, you are fine. <laughs> But it, uh, be, sorry, go ahead. It s uh, almost like it slides forward, and the horses are just a little bit panicked and kind of move out of the way. No. And it just goes to grab you, Fritz. And you're gonna need Joe, to make. Joe, I'm sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Because I have the crusher ability, I can move it five feet when I hit it with an attack that deals blood bludgeoning. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Can I keep it? Can I like kind of like angle my hammer slow in such a way enough. to to just slow it down. I don't really care to push it to the left or the right, but I just want it to keep it like, from progressing. I, I understand like, drag what you it mean. back. I will say, though, yeah. that it's not going to... I don't to, know if... How much speed that's fair it enough. has is not going to matter. Yeah, that's fair. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I, I still would like to try. Yes. To, to you that, kind right? of, like, as it's passing through, you almost, like, pull your hammer as if, like, to pull the goop, and you knock off a few more pieces, like, just chunks of blot, and it pulls it back just a little bit, but this thing is not slowing down at all. Fair enough. As it moves forward and goes to thrust its arm to grab Fritz almost completely. I'm going to need you to make a strength saving throw, Fritz. Oh, <gasps> okay. Uh, how do I do that again? Is it just roll strength? Saving. Uh, there should be a section for saving throws, I think. So they, uh, uh, yes. Only bad things are happening. Okay. Uh, and... Unfortunately, it grabs you and throws you to the side like it did with Buck. Fuck. You fly about mm. this much into this palm tree, poof, poof, and you're going to take four bludgeoning damage. Ooh, oh, by ah! the way, did we heal from our rest last time? I forgot. You did, yes. You healed up to full. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do I use What is life and how much a do I take? Four? In the form of four, giant yes. Floor monsters. bludgeoning, mm -hmm. and it's going to come up, oh, and it is shit. face to face <gasps> with you, Larry. That breaks my concentration. Is that the end it? of its turn? That breaks my no, concentration. Uh, did you? Uh, you need to make a save for it. Yeah, can I make a save no. for my concentration? Wait, are you concentrating yeah. on something, Fritz? Yeah, you have concentrating on protection from good and evil. Oh, uh, well, yes, you need to make a con mm. save uh, and beat a 10. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. That's okay. So is that is that the end of its turn? That is the end of its turn. It used its action. Okay, as my shifting feature, my swift stride reaction allows me to move up to 10 feet when a creature ends its turn within five feet of me. Ooh. This reactive movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Lyra, come here. So I'm yeah, just gonna yeah. like backflip up and over if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, as you backflip, it tries to go and like blast uh, like some blot goop where you once sat, but you just whoop, jump over it and it whoop, just covers the seat and it sizzles a bit. That cart is new. <laughs> All right. Terrifying. Okay. It's cunningly put itself where I can't strike it with lightning because it'll fuck <laughs> up the horses and word. Buck. Your turn. Damn it. You're surrounded by bloodhounds. I've got. Don't worry. I've got the bloodhounds. Um. <laughs> use use your spin attack. I use the sp I use the spin attack. <gasps> and then yeah. I'm going. Wait, you have a spin attack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> To un no, unleash I do not have a spin attack. I don't, I don't have a spin attack. <laughs> Unless the DM wants to rule of cool that I have a spin attack. Rule of cool that I kill everybody and win. I, yeah, I, I want to be cool. I will use uh, I will a reckless attack, mm -hmm. and I will reckless attack, I guess, uh, maybe just the one below me, mm -hmm. like okay. directly below me. Let me just roll with the blind. With your advantage, God. that is going to hit. God. Okay, uh, that's going to be 12, 12, 12 damage. 12 mm -hmm. is going to be enough, and you slam as this thing splatters onto the white, sandy road. I roll a two and a six there. Uh, I will try use my second attack to hit another uh, hit. Uh, let's just go for the one that's already damaged. Um, Ooh, just not enough. No. Gosh, I'm, I'm not rolling very well today. None of us are. Uh... <laughs> That is my turn. Okay, you I did use I a reckless wanna... attack, so attacks on you do have I did. advantage. That's correct. <sighs> okay, Fritz. Uh, how far away are you, Lyra? 20 feet, I have 30 feet of movement. Uh, I'm not prone, right? 
No, you are not prone. Okay. I'm once again running to Lyra. I'm fucking, I'm yeah. casting protection for good and evil. You are not, <laughs> I am not letting this happen. Thank okay. you. Wonderful. I'm going to jump to just in front of the dead dude. Okay. Mm. And then I end turn. Lyra. Hmm. Oh, okay. Using my action to strike anybody with lightning is a bad idea right now because they're all within five feet of an ally. So I am going to use my action to wild shape, ah. which means the hearts are physically incorporated hey. into my form and can't be taken off my person. They're going to have to kill me first. <laughs> or at least the panther awesome thing I just turned into. Don't um, say that so loud. That'll give them the idea. <laughs> but it's okay. It just comes out points. like a cool panther noise. Um, but I don't lose concentration on the spell because Wild Shape retains concentration on spells. Yes. And I can still use my action to strike people with lightning. <laughs> For what it's for what it's for what it's worth, oh. I have advantage on deck saves if I'm not blind, incapacitated. Couldn't so you? like, if you wanted to do an area of effect on me to kill these things before they get an advantage attack, I'm okay with that. Or Sorry. you can oh, do okay. a proximity target, like you did the, with the first use of it. Just hit near uh, one of them. I think it works on the blot because the blot is big. I think if I strike next to one of those little guys, they have to make the deck save. But I then think just go straight that for still... exactly Buck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could hit four. I'm, next turn. Yeah. Next okay. turn, I promise right. I'll okay. strike Buck with lightning. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I ask. <laughs> You're welcome. But this turn, I've turned into a sick, nasty panther, uh, and I'm fucking booking it yeah. on the other side of the battlefield. Yes. I want that blot away from Word and My uh, Fritz. So let's see. How much movement do I have as a panther? Um, speed, 50 feet. Probably Climb, more. 40 feet. Probably more Heck than yeah. the map has. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Um, in that case, I would like to draw aggro. <laughs> ah. Five to, uh, I, I'm doing this in such a way that I'm not trying to provoke an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. <laughs> okay. Do I have, as a panther, bonus action dash? I do not. Cool. <laughs> then I guess do, that was my action I, and my movement. <laughs> uh, I do have climb. Uh... I think that's going to have to be it. I don't think I have any bonus actions I can use, especially because Buck can't heal right now, so I can't oh, yeah. bomb at the summer court. Word. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Your turn. All right. Oh, yeah, let me scuttle. put a little thing on you to indicate that you can't heal. Scuttle. Yeah, thank there you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm scuttling under the cart and kind of into the bush within range of him as I'm grabbing uh, just the one of my daggers. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be my bonus action to stealth using cunning action. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh, yeah, all right. If you want to counter that again or use the last roll, it's up to you. Um, <laughs> it'll just be like, stay away from my friends and stay away from my horses. And he'll lunge <laughs> forward with his, a That's little bit of negotiation. Woo! Are you saying the As horses you are not your friends? Stabbed out of stealth. Wow. Yes. That's for more such damage. good sneak attack damage. Yes. yes you are cutting away this way. at this guy and just almost like chipping away at him. him. Yeah. And, and you can see that the humanoid is actually getting a little bit smaller. It is now of medium size. Oh no, my cunning plan no oh. longer works. I won't that stop until man. I can put him in a jaw. He was once. <laughs> 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 we didn't adopt the charming little Peter Pan rogue, but we're going to adopt the big bad evil guy. <laughs> I just want to shake him around when I'm stressed. <laughs> a little slime. Just yeah, a little, like, a little, little Bowser. from. The yeah, the movie. use it to clean out your keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> He's gamer gunk. <laughs> uh, and that, that that's turn. that's my full turn, yeah. Okay. Uh can is there any chance that these horses, because they are yoked together, I think, or one of them is bound to the cart, would they try and trample him? Would they get a turn? <laughs> How about this? <laughs> maybe maybe efficiency. I don't know about butter. <laughs> With your yeah. reaction, you can give me an animal handling to try and command them to nah, do so. My my reaction was to hide. Ah. Uh. So that's my turn. That's okay, though. Thank you. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Because um, these horses, they are panicked. They know what yes. the blot is. Mm. They just think scary predator, and I don't want to yeah. touch it. So the blot's turn. All of these blot oh, no. are going to have advantage on Buck. So... No. <laughs> blot hounds. Oh, jeez. Okay. Right. Don't do that. God, just tell me that. Okay. Ah. All right. So all of them hit. <laughs> Yeah. And oh, no! You are going to take 
That's four more saves, my friend. I already can't take heal, unless they're different kinds, but I already can't be healed. Like, they're not going to make me more. Well, okay. I'm not going to push but it. <laughs> take 22, reduce to 11 uh, okay. piercing damage. You don't have to make the saves again, as it's the same effect. Uh, mm -hmm. You still can't be healed for the next minute. Okay. Hmm. And this guy is going to st lean down. You see its head kind of stretch out to look at you, Word. And I'm yeah. going to need Larry you to make Adam. a wisdom saving throw as the red eye oh, yeah. glows a he bright red. He did this to red. me. Damn it. <laughs> he did this to me on the boat. Okay. It's a good save. 17. It is it's trying to roll. draw upon your past, but you're able to shake it off just fine. <laughs> Fuck my past. <laughs> <laughs> I got two moms and I'm thriving. <laughs> and then he is going to <laughs> just run on over to Lara. Uh, wait, did he fall out of my attack range from like, getting cooped down? No. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you That's sliced funny. off the part you could reach. And yeah. it goes to Panther Lara and covers you. Whoa. Oh, Thanks, gonna, I hate it. I'm going to need you to make a con save. He gooped you. Sure. This isn't something I can use that reaction thing to. What is, is the it? reaction thing? Uh, when I have shifted, I don't. They don't say how that applies when wild shaped. Um, mm. uh, your walking speed increases by ten feet. I guess that doesn't apply. You, know you can move because up it to... sounds fun. I'm gonna say it works while you are wild shaped. As cool. Well. So the way it works is you can move up to ten feet as a reaction when a creature ends its turn within five feet of you. This reactive movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Basically, the question is. How does that apply if the last thing they do is try to goop me? So like, you still have to make the con save. However, you will do. you don't have to stay in it, which would have been worse. <laughs> Good. Oh. Okay, you're oh, fine as this thing 21. tries to kind of suffocate you, and you can feel <laughs> that it's trying to seep into your skin as well, but you're able oh. to pull it off. That's so nasty. Oh. And but my sick panther move. backflips have saved me. <laughs> you can move. Watch out. <laughs> you can backflip out of the way to safety. I'm sorry for making this less extremely fraught than it should be. So you are going to take <laughs> four. Uh, what would this be? I don't know. Force damage? Whatever suffocation damage would be. I'll take uh, it. So yeah, it's a little a bit complicated because right now I have temp HP and I am a panther, which has its own HP track that when <laughs> exhausted will make me turn back into Lyra. Right, right. So which of those things is getting chipped away the at panther first? One okay, so first. the panther has nine hit points left, but I still have seven temp HP underneath it. Wonderful. Okay, Buck, you're being beat up by a bunch of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, these these dogs are beating me up. Um, I will do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna hit them with my hammer, and I'm gonna do it recklessly. Yeehaw! Thank God, ten nice. damage fully yeah, on the. Uh, that was on the uh, the hurt one. The, the hurt, hurt one. one. Okay, the uh, hurt one splatters onto the sandy road, <gasps> like in the trailer. Yeah, Whoa. exactly. Do, uh, We're and then I'll the trailer. <laughs> This yeah, is the no, trailer part. We finally thing. got yeah, here. Feels exactly. <laughs> this is, it's like the scene in the opening of the anime. We've gotten to that part. All right. Uh, <laughs> I will do another attack Which means on just uh, another one. Any any random one. Okay, that will be enough. 16. And that will splatter another one. Yeah. Uh, I don't necessarily want to... Uh, I don't... Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to risk off... Wait, hold on. How far can I get? I've got 50 feet. Do I have, hold on, how many feet of movement do I have? Uh, 50 feet. Uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna come and put myself here, and I'll risk the opportunity attack. Fuck okay, no! What do you have about getting attacks? struck by lightning? <laughs> what? what? I, I, okay. I want to get struck. I, one I, one I does catch you, da, 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 and da, it is going da, to deal da. eight reduced to four piercing damage. Copy. Thank you. Ooh, I better not go to zero. Then you guys wouldn't be able to heal me. Uh oh, I've just realized something very bad. Yeah, I was a bit confused by your decisions. I've made my decision and I'm sticking by it, baby. That ends my turn, baby. Okay, Fritz, your turn. Yeah. We we crossbow in him again. Crossbow. Yes, another crossbow. Crossbow twice. Punk. And again. And another one. This one, it just kind of like 
moves its head just out of the way onto one of its shoulders. <laughs> uh. Still um. transfixed on Lyra, but it is looking pretty roughed up. Actually, with that hit, I'm going to give this. It's barely keeping its form together. Okay. Heck I'm yeah. Done. Little kitty that kitty. My, me done. <laughs> Lyra. All right. Do it, Lyra. I'm doing it, but do I it. am being very careful uh. to do it. Right behind it, so what a nerd. I j- oh, I'm so sorry that as the party healer, I don't want to have to bring you up from getting struck by lightning. <laughs> you can't. I can't take any healing. I don't know. even worry about it. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, three D ten. Come here, you. Uh, hop. Oh my Ooh. God. All right. Make that deck save, baby. All right. Oh, no, that's going to splatter Woo-hoo! it. The lightning zaps like right on top of it. Boosh. Into the sand, splattered and painting it a deep onyx. Gross. So Buck gets like cartoon coated, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a, gal- a Gallagher show. Eyes. Just all, yeah. Yeah, all over. And it's a little and warm, the Panthers but clean. Nothing, nothing that hurts you. Just a little bit gross. Just a little icky. Good job, uh, Lyra. <laughs> kind of like doing the like cat paw behind the ear thing. Like, oh, I can still feel it in the fur. Word. But that was my action. I don't need movement because the thing's not menacing me anymore. So yeah, it's Word's turn. Boss. That thing's been put Go. down. Yep. All right. For now. Uh, I think I'll use another bonus action to stealth and I'm just going to prep my bow and shoot an arrow into this sweet handsome character. (laughs) Uh, Bop. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no way they're seeing you so you can get advantage on that one as well. We're bringing one of those out. Unfortunately, the the advantage is not enough as it goes a little bit wide. Shit, my arrow. That's my turn. And now the blot. You can see the little kind of spot that the humanoid once was you can see the red glowing eye start to dim but then it pulses with its red light just a bit and it starts to make a noise the first time it's made a noise Mm. it sounds like a voice but inaudible screeches and cries muffled as if they were underwater (laughs) until you hear one thing call out Clearly, we were here before. And while it's doing this, the the red eyes of the hounds are pulsing at the same frequency of the voice from the humanoid blot. And they are going to dash and escape. Can I pick up the eye? No, why would you do that? And that is going to be the end of initiative. Uh, when you reach down to kind of scoop up what uh, remains, there is no eye. There is just blot goop. Like like it disappeared? Like yes. <sighs> All right. I am going Back. to rush over to you, Lair, and hug you like, are you okay? I am still in cat form, but you get uh, an affectionate headbutt. I'm hugging you. Oh, I'm like, "Ah." (laughs) it's the blubbering mess. Just the bed head fur. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, as soon as uh, Buck's no healy thing wears off, he's getting some healing spells. Yes. After Um, about a minute, his his wounds are back to you know being able to be closed. Great. Um, We can do a cure wounds. We could do a bomb of the summer court. It's fine. We can get you back up to it. Um, how how far down are you actually? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I'm hurt. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not. I would if I were to put it out of. I'd give me a three point five out of five. I guess on I a hypothetical say. numerical scale. <laughs> uh, like something out of fifty. Yeah, yeah, there would be. Perhaps. That's hey, I've given you what it is out of five. All right, pretty, then you're, yeah, gonna you're gonna get. With, actually, yeah. you you're gonna get to. a second yeah. level cure wounds, my friend, for, <laughs> for a grand total of seven. Nice. Seven I did my best. <laughs> Just All like right. a little shell my shock. Ends as well. Word left the bush, and he grabbed the arrow that missed, and he grabbed both of Buck's cards, and he's just gonna hand him to Buck. 
Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess we can confirm those things are sentient now. And and old. Yeah. Well, did you all hear what it said about we were here before? Yeah. Bef- before what? I'm gonna like shake myself out of the panther form. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to use my deductive reasoning, I would think they were here even before, I don't know, Elinthi itself, maybe the tree. Because if they're after stuff that ties to the tree of the dragons, they were here before either of them. It occurs to me that artifacts intended to instill the land itself with life might be very appealing to some form of ancient undead monstrosity. They didn't seem dead, though. It didn't seem entirely dead. They couldn't answer if it was alive or dead. It had no master. I almost find that more worrying. We know from the thing that none of us can talk about that these things have a connection to the ancient ruins that predate the bulk of Alinthi. It does not surprise me to learn that it was here before. But it is still alarming. These things we should talk. Probably get going before more show up. This is true. I mean, it's they can do more than talk. These things were waiting for us. Yes. Lying and wait. Involved. I, I don't know if they were. I mean, they knew where we were on the boat. They knew that we were outside of Nuba Sky. They. I, I don't know if they had planned to. Buck, they have allies. There are people that talk to them more than we're ever capable of. Remember that witch back home? She seemed rather amateurish, but if she could do it, no doubt Her others can or someone as well. else, they can... I don't like that they talk to people. Well, here's I don't my like point. that people talk to them. Well, here's, here's what worries me. I, th- this was a pretty straightforward path between where we were going... Uh, between where we were and where we were going, uh, if I don't know how these things are finding out ab- about where it is we're going, but I think maybe if we're going to continue, maybe using the main road isn't the best way to go. If we want to avoid deviating too these far things. from it would open us up to ambush with no chance of help. Well, that's if we assume that they. I, I, I think we need to figure out how it is that they're tracking where it is we're traveling. I think it's got to be with the people we talk to. That's possible, but there may also be a simple magical component. They could identify which of us was carrying the hearts and pursued me even when the hearts were not physically present. That's true. Oh, yeah, Maybe that's they... true. We didn't really tell anyone who had what other than that stupid little fairy kid. Yes. But even if and... they can... Well, as you say, even if they can sense exactly where the hearts are... Why ain't I mean, they attacking us in full all the time? I right, will note that they have attacked each dragon shortly after we acquired the heart, or shortly before in the case of um, Cecilia. It's possible they're only attacking us because we are now carrying two of them, and it would be more convenient for them to acquire them that way. So the further we go, the more of these things there's going to be. It wouldn't surprise me. We gotta find out what they're weak to. Or what they want. I mean, that doesn't change how they act. It might change how we deal with them. I didn't particularly think our odds of negotiating with them were good, which is why I... I didn't think we had any. I was surprised. I I don't like the fact that we could talk to them, that they seemed open to that. Briefly. There's too many implications. It's a mystery, and one I would very much like to unravel. I'm not going to be happy once we do. Well, I'm not happy now that we don't know what's going on, so I suppose neither of us will be happy. (laughs) Even so, uh, when it comes to, you know, traveling plans, I think we should try and keep it within the group about the precise nature of how it is we'll be traveling and where it is we'll be going, because... I want if we can at the very least eliminate the possibility of someone feeding information to these things, which I I guess is technically possible if they can communicate. 
I I want to eliminate that possibility. Try and you and know. if we've already got on our plate, you know, ambushes by these things, the last thing we want is a couple other people trying to make a name for themselves by bumping us. Mm. I mean, we've had a little bit of that with that one hanger on that wants to <laughs> the one you know the one that wears all the the weird get up that has come out by us. That's that, all of that's, us. That's that. You know what? <laughs> My well, is entirely practical. The here's what I'm confused about. These things know where we are. That uh, person knows where we are. I don't know if that's connected in any way. Oh, La, La Destructora. Yeah, La oh, Destructora. My, I literally didn't know who you were talking. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I, we've met some characters. When I was referring to what? was La Destructora, the, the the person that runs around with all the the get up of the cardboard and whatnot, who wants to fight us. While she is an intimidating force of evil, I can't see her throwing her lot in with something like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She seems right. to have some sort of moral code she operates on. <laughs> right. I do right. love playing a good game, but I feel like... I, I don't know if it's a bad idea, if it'll cause more problems, but maybe next time we see her, we take off that mask. Hmm. Something to consider for later. Yeah, I'll leave it open to the floor. I don't care either way. For As now, we move westward, we approach more closely the lands that the artifacts that the blot are connected to are found in. It may or may not cause more problems than it solves to investigate, but it might also be our best chance true. of understanding them. So, l- at the very least, it sounds like what we gotta do is get somewhere safer than this. So Yes, let's... we should get on the cart. <laughs> right. And I think, <laughs> I think, personally, from here, we should really consider the fact that once we get that last hot, everything knows where we are and where we're going. So, starting now, we should be preparing for that. Yes. When you get back on the cart, you can see that, the firstly, the seat is ruined. Its mm. cushion has been oh. melted to bits. Oh, no. Anybody um. know any magic for this? <laughs> I'm working on it. Hold on. Okay. Just and you can see, list. as well, efficiency is hurt. No! no! Efficiency is getting healing spells, they've, and after a long rest, I can get mending and fix the cart. They've got what <clears> looks <throat> to be like a big gash on their hind leg, kind of uh, on the side, no. their left left hind leg, where uh, Word would have been sitting on the seat. No. Okay. And you can see Efficiency. that uh, uh, Butterscotch is kind of trying to comfort them, kind of rubbing their head against. Oh, oh. efficiency. <laughs> Efficiency is also getting a first level cure wounds. <laughs> I don't know anything about infection, but I'll be trying to bind the wounds. <laughs> Sorry, Buck. It's healed for more. <laughs> Are you just better at healing the horse, I guess. I, I can talk to the horse. So. Okay, with that Fair medicine enough. check, you can see... Uh, that you can talk to me. <laughs> you, oh, yes, I'm sorry. You are able <laughs> to kind of like patch it up. Uh, you'll probably need a... It'll probably need proper healing, either from Lyra or, you know, a... Yeah, Lyra uh, just did the healing. She I did, did do the healing, yes. Above that. Uh, I can do more it'll healing. leave a scar, but it's mostly okay. Okay. That Trevor uh, said a guy's going to be mad. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him, like, a little extra rations. Yeah, I'll try and do an animal handling check to calm them both down. No Because they just got attacked. They, okay. they seem to be comforted by your immediate attention, like immediately, Aww. like kind of getting a little bit giddy and like back and forth and a little bit restless when you are further away. And as you get close, they just kind of like rub their like mouth kind of on your head and <laughs> give you little nibbles. Yeah. Friend to all animals. <laughs> Aww. Truly like, beautiful. I get back in the ruined little seat. Um, <laughs> You know what? I'm, I'm going to cast that same spell again, uh, Floating Disc, and I'll sit on it in lieu Yay. of the chair. <laughs> yeah. um. I want that word Disney princess fan art on my desk by Monday. <laughs> Put it on there. You guys survived the blot attack and head the rest of the way. You go past the in-between hills that were blocking your location's vision from both the mm. watchtower and the city. And as you pass over the hill, you make your way to the land of invention, the land of progress, the land of Politrios. Of Politrios. Ooh. Whoa, oh, cool. Snap. It's Water 7. It's got like a thing. <laughs> and that, I think, is going to be where we call today's session. Is that a yeah. steam whistle? Yeah. Really? Is the whole thing a steam whistle? It does look like I a whistle, that. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's even got that. That's cool, yeah. 